good evening. And welcome to Wild oh Young Fish. <laughs> Couldn't get past that. Somebody saying something. All right, everyone. We'll be continuing on our lovely um, uh, Wild Beyond the Witchlight based campaign, where we have just, where the party has just set on out on the quest set unto them by the Congress of Goddesses, or what's left of the Congress of Goddesses, as the goddesses have started to move forward with uh, prepping the land of Torn and Bond for upcoming for upcoming war, they decided to use less of their godlike power as to travel silently around Kellek so that they'd be less prone to discovery. But in that same sense, that means that they cannot travel as easily as they could before. Issuing you the uh, quest to go northward they, they asked you to reach uh, four places on your travels. They asked you to reach Asher, the Grey Labyrinth, the James Farm, and Welland. A bit of a door of the Explorer map scene right there. Well, after several days of travel and various things got, that got in your way, you guys made it to Asher. However, finding Zathrian, Amadria's brother, in his uh, semi-constructed church, exhausted, bodies littered around him, you realize something was up. And you realize that you needed to go deeper into Ashra to get more answers. Not only to get more answers, but to fulfill your quest for the goddesses to see if they will aid in the upcoming war. To uh, find the iron artifact, the staff of the forest that the Asheran um, uh, leaders are supposed to be keeping this dark citadel. And for Amandraya to help an old friend. Descending upon Ashra the party immediately scatters. <laughs> how we're most However, <laughs> you guys did do one really smart thing, which was Kitsu summoned her flock of familiars and gave all of you guys oh, one. Three of almost, um, almost, almost, almost all of them. That. That almost all of them. But you're and technically keeping track of us. Me and you are together. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So it's just we're in two different places. You could have a <laughs> imp if you wanted, but no, but you sent um, Little Fry. To I sent Little Fry to be ahead, but yeah. that didn't so, work out as well as. So, you guys scattered into the city. Amadria went home. I'm outside. To see if she could help <laughs> her dryad and friend, Yuke. Meanwhile, um, Lux who was put into a playing card against his will, find out, found oh, no, out something right. about those playing cards that deeply disturbed him, and not only when he was released, begged for the release of another, but then begged to go back in to see if he could find anything else. He's crazy, I know. <laughs> he might be crazy Luckily, when he gets out. Yeah. Solus decided to take a look around. Yeah, he did. Seeing if he could pass off as an Asher and Child. Mm -hmm. yeah, Which boy. he's gotten pretty far. He found this cultural he's center. He's deaf, isn't this it? This place <laughs> where he can uh, see the beating heart of the forest. However, it led him to a discovery about himself. You're Something freaky. that makes him question his origins. You're nasty. Oh, yeah, three arms or three fingers in there. What? And it's, and the no, it's the Mickey hand. It's the Mickey hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But at the end of this past session, Amadraya had just gone through the um, ritual to rebind Yuk to the material plane. Successfully binding him once again so that his mind is not split between here and the Fae one. We'll pick back up. Alright, we'll pick back up. Well, at the one person who we have no idea what they were doing. <laughs> Poor kitty. Malharas, exactly. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Malharas, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so I'm inside, and I am looking around. Uh, 
if you want me to give you another basic description of yeah. Ashra, I, I can. So Ashra is kind of this kind of like quaint uh, village setup where as you enter in from where like you guys assumed the entrance or like the closest part to Zathrian's part of the forest was, this is like the actual entrance. You see a lot of like houses built in and out of trees, but like naturally. And f going further up this kind of crags and into the deeper forest, you see the, um, the oaken trees where you can imagine that they're kind of outposts for the oak board. You see a long house that you can assume are kind of like made for like city meetings and things like that. Uh, you see a clearing where like, you know, tables are being set up for the evening meal. And you see the Oakborn are bad guys? As far as you know. The other ones with like, like the oak armor? Was the was it one of the oak guys that was attached to the tree? No. No. That was They we think that that was the person bringing Ivy to So that was one of the cultists. Her brother. Okay. Got Vondolin. Where like uh, he was one of the people that was supposed to be bringing a vondel in to uh, uh, to Zathrian, mm -hmm. which is uh, Amadria's newest sibling. And they're looking for the. And women. I actually get to meet them when they're actually younger than me. You're only two hundred years old. <laughs> One hundred and fifty-two. <laughs> Zathrian's like three hundred years old. And he is technically my younger brother. So a vondel is. 150 no, years. Vondelin's like no. five. Oh, okay. she, she is a tiny child baby. Little sex. El elf baby. <laughs> She's like five, six. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to go up to one of the outpost trees. One of the outpost trees. And I do want to remind you that Buford is with you. <laughs> Good duck. Right. We're going over there. <laughs> Quietly. <laughs> we're going to go over to one of the uh, oak places. So, heading off into the village, once again, surprisingly, Buford is not the shocking thing. As people are passing Buford, they just think that he's, you know, someone in wild shape, someone in another part of the forest. The thing that kind of weirds them out is the Bombay black cat. Because there are no cats in the forest. Some of the children think that you're a fox. One, one child thought you were a squirrel. Well, like, the adults are like, what the heck is this cat? And so you reach the oak trees. They're solid, stalwart oak trees, about, like, ten feet in diameter. There's a single archway made out of twisted branches and vines. <clears throat> I'm going to look inside of... Looking inside, uh, do you tell Buford to stay outside? Yeah. And how far do you go in? You just peer in through the archway? Or? Yeah, I kind of look at... You go enter in, and you see, like, like a rounded wall with, like, two other archways. You know, like, when you enter a room and there's that wall that then leads off to the sides and so you can enter the room, but it's kind of, like, give, like, that, that visual break mm -hmm. from the door? Yeah, that's kind of like what it is. Okay, so I can't really see much from it. Not really. Okay. You can see just off to the sides, but if you wanted to see more, you'd have to go around. All right, then I, I'm i going to walk in. Walking in and around, immediately what you the first thing you sense is the temperature drop. All of a sudden, it becomes very cold, and as you enter into this space, I'm going to have you uh, roll me in nature or perception. Nature. Nature. What kind of perception? It's not a smell. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not a snoop. It's not a snoop. Perception. 18. Hmm? 18. 18 perception or 18 age? Uh, perception. Perception. Walking in, you see the sides of the, the inner sides of the tree wrapped in vines and branches. You're kind of looking. It's one solid tree. There is no meat in this tree. There's no center. It's a hollow tree, except for the vines that grow off the walls. And as you're kind of looking around, like they all are coming in here for some reason. Why are they coming in here? There's nothing here. And that's when you see it. As you're looking at the walls, you look forward and you see like beyond the, the vines where the bark is that make up the wall you see instead of like the solid piece of bark you see slats and you see the arm and you see the oak wood behind the vines dormant sleeping as if they're waiting to be active Mm. And doing the quick count, you see about maybe like 25 in this tree. You could take them. And they're just constructs, right? Well, you don't know. But you just are seeing, like, and it's not even like they're just kind of around. You see them go around the first floor, and then exactly one orc born up, there's more. And above that, there's uh. more. Above that, there's more. Do they have a particular symbol on them? That's one I don't even know. Uh, roll me an uh, arcana check. I have no clue if there's a symbol on this. I'm sure. I'm sure she would know. <laughs> I'm sure I'm a driver. Uh, oh yeah, I'm a driver. Twenty-four. Know. Carly does, huh? Twenty-four. Yeah, do you want to investigate the orc form, or do you I want to just kind of observe? I will investigate it. So going up, you climb up into the vines, and are looking around, and this one dormant oak born in front of you. You are well acquainted with magic, having designed it yourself. Although you've lost much of your memory of magic, you feel like you got a pretty good handle on it. As you're looking around the slats, there is a single etched image right where like you would see like past the slats. And you see skin. You see like humanoid skin beyond the slats. And there's a single image like almost burned into the base of the neck where the torso is. And it's slightly disturbing. Because as you're looking at this symbol, there's a power that comes from it. And it's corruptive. And you're looking at it, and there's something innately fey about it. So you're seeing a fey, a, like a dark face, etched into the, just beyond the armor. And other than that, is there like a coat of arms? No coat of arms. All right. But this is unusual for the, like what I would assume this area. Oh, you don't know. Gonna memorize that. that symbol. Yeah. And then I'm going to leave. Oh. Who's a, around? Just as you're leaving, you hear the <laughs> of an old born coming back. Uh, alright. Is, <laughs> is there room in one of the vines? To Scooby do a hide in the <laughs> uh, Roll a stealth check. 
Yeah. 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 I wish that going, was going like, as you're going and walking, you hear that, and you all of a sudden go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and you just kind of dart in front of the hallway to like this one nestled nook, with like right into the shadows. And you jump as you leap, you look up, and you see the oak horn like coming at you, and you just kind of leap into this dark corner, and you're not sure if it didn't see you or if it just doesn't care. Because you're in a tree. I mean, squirrels do live in these things. So, <laughs> a giant squirrel. So, he walks in, passes you, and just seems to not care. He goes and he stands into the center of the room, and you see the vines come out, like start grabbing onto him, but they don't lift him up immediately. What you see is you see this kind of like hole as they're like connecting to like his head and torso. And there's a beat. And then the various vines kind of lift him up and move him into place as he's accepted into the side of the tree. And another oak board is released. Hmm. I'm going to wait until that one leaves, and then I'm going to uh, leave as well. I'm kind of going to kind of look for a, an older person. Older person? Uh, you see Priscilla heading home. Remind me who that is? Uh, that is her parents' neighbor. Okay. So I'll follow that person. Uh, Priscilla heads home. It's not far of a walk. Oh yeah, she's hard of sight. This is a big squirrel. <laughs> I'm going what to. What is that? <laughs> oh no! Ben made a shopping list for her character. Uh, it's on this list. <laughs> so I'm going to. Reach into her mind and just say, how do you get to the, uh, what is it called, the, uh... Dark Citadel? Dark Citadel. Ah! Who's there? Who's, who's speaking to me? It is I, the great squirrel Uth Barka. <laughs> and as she kind of was looking around, like, you see these big, thick-rimmed glasses on, and she's like, Squirrel? Yes. Who Squirrel chooses your kind to come to the temple? Well, that's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not true at all. What? You lying? You a lion squirrel? A <laughs> lion squirrel. I'm not a. I'm not a lion squirrel. Uh, you don't choose to go to the dark side, I don't choose. No. I'm asking you who does. Oh, you're asking me who? I thought you were asking me to show you the way. I was like, you, you don't decide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having a conversation with a squirrel. Go home, squirrel. <laughs> Damn it, she's an elf, too. Oh, Uh-oh. Ben's heard with yours. Um... <laughs> I'm getting old. I can't see anymore. <laughs> I. How do I convince this person? <laughs> this. The, the forest is angry with that temple. I must go and find it to speak to those in charge. Roll me a persuasion check with disadvantage because <laughs> you immediately started off with something that she knows to be wrong. <laughs> hey! Are you a lion squirrel? A lion squirrel? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, you're a protector of the forest, eh? I'm you're the, the protector. Of, you're the protector of the forest. Well, what am I then? We're part of Ashra. We protecting the forest, you little squirrel. What? How many Shut up about this squirrel. I will give you my nuts. How many squirrels do you know that can telepathically speak to people? Well, I know I'm quite. Welcome to Ashra. We talk to plants. <laughs> I'm so glad you know magic. I'm a talking squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I am a talking squirrel. Lightning bolt. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> you learn. talking squirrel. Lion squirrel. Don't tell me where I am. I don't know what the dark sigil is. I've never been there. Who died? Well, that'd be the the leader, the town leader. Who that? <laughs> His name is Grabowski. Grabowski. I don't know any. Who <laughs> no, look like that? Uh, go. Who? Where does he live? Well, he lives over that way, near the near the town center. He actually lives in the town center. He lives in the long house. It's where we keep the leaders. Grabowski lives there with his wife, and uh, of course the um. Uh, the advisor of Astra, you know, a Drazani, so. Drazani? A Drazani. Oh. A Drazani. I was a little worried about the You know, he kind of doesn't have the best water, but you know. <laughs> a Drazani. <laughs> you know, when it gets nippy outside, you gotta roll Drazani. <laughs> and his name is Gravaski. Gravaski. Gravaski, okay. Gravaski. Gravaski and Adrasani. I'm just gonna walk away. And <laughs> where are you going? Where? Where's that squirrel? Get back here, squirrel! Squirrel! Oh my god! <laughs> just hear Priscilla screaming "squirrel" off of the distance. All, all of you hear this. You just hear it off in the <laughs> forest. Squirrel! squirrel. <laughs> Maharas is up to no good. <laughs> well, except you, because you're in you a. You don't hear anything. You're in a pseudo dimension. Even on a different plane. You're in a pseudo dimension. Something amazing has just happened. So, you go off into there to find Gravaski. Meanwhile, yeah. back at the farm, Kitsu, what are you doing? Because she's right outside. After. I was deciding... Oh, I had just found out that I couldn't talk to Little Fry. Because it's too far away. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to decide if it was the best idea to go in where she is because like her family might not freak out what are you doing they'll probably freak out and then you get this guy with the trying to figure out you know what's gonna happen since like come out of that okay thing. so well, you can't come out unless i let you out so <gasps> i'm not gonna worry Trapped about that you know what's forever. gonna happen as soon as i get okay. out of that so she's cart. gonna go okay so i have shoestring with him who saw the transformation he's yep. like a little weirded out i have um stabby with me mm-hmm. and then Oh, I have four of them now. So I Little have Fry, them. Stabby, Shoestring, and Wedge. And Wedge. Who's with, and Wedge, wedge is with, is with her. her. And Wedge so is the little, really need, little one. So Wedge, I don't really need to... I don't really need to go there. Put him in the card. No, I'm not putting anybody else put him in the card. card. <laughs> there was a reason we put you in there, and I stand by that reason. <laughs> <laughs> but she ha- but it, she already has yeah. somebody if I need, and Solace has Shoestring, and Shoestring's like, yeah, uh, there's some... I probably did. What did you say? Is it Solace? Solace. Okay, so I said Solace. I understand. Don't call me Tyna. I, I will not answer. Luckus. Or Kutsu. That she won't answer about that kutsu? either. Kutsu? No Kutsu. Kaitsu? No. Kaitsu? No. No Kotsky either. Kaitsu University? Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> none of those things. And let's see. So what will she, what will she do? She's not going to try to go off by herself. <laughs> The little the build a bear outfits I'd love to see. I love it. <laughs> That'd be great. That's really cute. That's the little the build a bear outfits I'd love to That's see. That's really cute. Love to see her okay. get a little bandanas from. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not sure what I would do. I what are we even doing here? So I have lost my purpose in this Asha. Area. You are right outside of Asha. You just dumped a body outside of your cart into the middle of the forest. And then I'm trying to. Get so I'm gonna just... hide the body. <laughs> That's what I need to be doing. So the body is of the previous. Platinum City head of guard. Yeah, so she's gonna hide the body. She's like, hopefully, you know. He's in a ditch right now. Okay, well, I'm just gonna like try to 
I know a, a tree that has scoop some foliage in it. Vines. <laughs> so you trying to, trying to not cause uh, a lot of a nature or slut, 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 survival. Survival. Oh, what kind yeah, of a tree? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I kind of sounded like you said. Yeah. I'm like, what kind of a check we're doing over there? What checks are we doing? Uh, I'm not, I, I was definitely got wild behind the witch lights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fairies, you know. There you go. You never There's know. only three kinds of fairies in the world, you guess. <laughs> okay. Three. So I'm doing a what check? Survival. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> or nature. Oh, nature. Let's try that. Okay. Well, it's a nature check. And it's... A nine. A nine. So you quickly look at him in a ditch. You'd think that I'd be good at this. And you're like, I know just how to do this. And you grab like exactly like one armful of leaves and you chuck it just on his face. And like the rest of the body's just kind of sitting out there. But like now the face is obscured and you're like, perfect. Can I throw his arms in there? Can I reassess? <laughs> do no. I have an intelligent brain? Yes, I can reassess. I can look and say... Something's wrong Well, there. you're sitting there and you're like, okay, uh, so you try That's to, like, I move thought. the leads so you, like, uncover his nose. No, like, just like, move his arms into the <laughs> ditch. So, so you, like, like, move his arms into the ditch. Come on. He's like, oh, Even like, Tina would know how to do <laughs> this. I mean, come on. <laughs> into the ditch, and, but he's still, like, still very obvious. I mean, you rolled oh, a There's got to be something You rolled a nine. You rolled a nine. There's got to be some feat or trait that I have that will no. help with this. Body hider? <laughs> you have advantage on survival checks. Oh, dang, I know Slide exactly what I'm going to do. Previous murderer. Now put him freaking the back in the car. <laughs> He's you put him back in the car? In the car. He's getting dead body. <laughs> Damn. You put the dude back in the car? I can't leave him in a ditch. You're going to hear about leaves. this, girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually dead. He's actually dead, but he's in the car, and I'm not freaking leaving him out in the stupid he woods. He came back in here. She, <laughs> she, she like, like, is like <laughs> she knows. Dude, I thought we had an agreement. Okay, so she free, she free. has her card and she taps it on him, and she does a little and little he's, thing, and, he's, and she's like, and you can hear Lux uh, inside going, "Son of a." She's like, man, that's gonna, gonna that's gonna cost me some morale building. <laughs> Lux disapproves. <laughs> I look at I look at Lux's card and I'm like, all okay. of a sudden Lux's card going to like this happy loot thing to being <laughs> like I just shuffle him in the deck and I him like, just doing like that Uncle Sam in, thing. Put him in my put him in my pocket and I'm gonna like okay I gotta go I got bigger things to do. So what are you doing? Uh, I guess I'm going. I, I don't. Do you just want to go into the backyard? Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the backyard. So... I mean, there's like. You go into the backyard and you see. I'll end up causing problems. I'm a dryer. Wait, is she a dre- Is she dressed? I've like got a cloak over my whole body. She's got a cloak. I'm. I'm whole body cloaked. I'm worried. So you head into the backyard. I'm a little concerned that your parents could freak out, but. So you head into the backyard. They might. And her mom just went into the house. Oh, thank God. You know, I was watching. And, and I have wet. Yuke is sitting there, and you're focusing mostly on Yuke, and you see this like, kind of like garden area backyard she's showing you stealth and shade you said it was so, semi-light i can still i never said it was semi-light I, you said it was say it. I never said semi-light it, it was dim i never said it was dim, light. Light. Was dim. on you of moment. course there is there always is <laughs> everywhere else like roll me a stealth check you're gonna roll me a stealth check 20 20 so I'm you slink up over the wall like a like a cloud on a cloudy day <laughs> and you and you slink over the wall, so much so that nobody notices you. Thank God. Enter the backyard. She she discusses with um, Wedge. Is it um, Wedge? You need yeah. to let Armadrea <laughs> know that I'm in the backyard. Hi. No. So she doesn't freak out. I'll, I'll, I'll let her know. And you just feel the small like little tug. <laughs> it's so cute. So you get the like, cute on, one. On like your hair. <laughs> you got she's the cute like, one. <laughs> her, her hair is fully in a bonnet. Yeah, so it's head. just like. It's, she's just like. Be in your bonnet. She's here. <laughs> I like the. She's I like the. Oh, guys! Here. <laughs> she's here. She just suck you into the TV. Calm down. <laughs> oh, the card. <laughs> <laughs> or the card. I got it. I got an empty one. Right now, I have an empty one. <laughs> A kid's over here. Why is she? Uh, she's over there. She's the one in the corner with all the souls in her pocket. 
She goes. I just don't want you to freak out, you know? I don't want you to freak out. Looking over it's exactly okay. where Wedge is it's pointing, okay. uh, you see um, Kitsu, like, masterfully, like, snuck up next to the shed. I could <laughs> I'm standing by the shed. I could just have a I'm looking rock. rather cool. I, she, I'm very she looks cool. like she's like that drifter that I'll just put, like, walks in that nobody sees in the shadow. Like, and all of a sudden, you just hear the. <laughs> <laughs> She uh, she looks to where, because Wedge is still invisible, right? Yeah, Wedge is still invisible. And she's just like, tell her when I come in not to follow me, because I need to have a... Sorry. Yes, I know, I speak very quietly in this voice. <laughs> I gotta remember, I used to be a theater kid. <laughs> tell her that... When I go in the house, she can't follow because I need to have a private conversation with my parents. No, no, you, you do know she can listen to me, right? <laughs> no, I did not. That's good to know. She can also use my eyes. <laughs> Don't put them in your dress. She's actually telling me right now she's got a little something between her teeth. A little lettuce. <laughs> It's been for a while, but she hasn't told you. You get up a piece of bark. It's Wedge a girl. It gets hard. It's hard to it's tell. It's hard to tell. Ah. Where's the empty? <laughs> I'll show you a little. You can see their butts really well, but everything else is kind of. Yeah, there it know. is. Yeah, this is Wedge. <laughs> Naughty, but a little nice. Did you see Buns? Yeah. <laughs> Naughty, but a little nice. Do I look at the tattoos? So, Not that you should get up. One fake fairy tale story. Mom. Mom. <laughs> one fake fairy tale story. The only oh, one she'd approve of. No, I don't. I'm, no, I'm <laughs> staying out of that. I'm staying out of that entirely. I'm staying out of all that. The only that. person in our life that was like totally against our tattoos came home with one one time. So. I have yeah. nothing to say. <laughs> so, moving on. Moving on, because I totally lost my train. Okay. So she's going to wait. Stealthy. Is this... Like, is there, like, a tree creature right there? Yeah. Does he see me? Probably. Uh, now that Andre has looked directly at you, he looks over and he's like, well, who's that? Are we worried about that? What is... Do you remember Kitsu? No. Mabeka? <laughs> no. Do you remember Mabeka? Mabeka? Shoot! Madrick! I'm saying the wrong name. Uh, vaguely. Uh, you know, recent friend. history has kind of gotten a little blurred. Friend of a friend of Zach. Okay, that doesn't explain a lot. She... I'm not going to hurry. I might hurry. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go introduce myself. You go, uh, you go and talk to your parents, and I'll go introduce myself. He kind of gets up from his tree. He's like, has she met you? No. Because you cannot travel I just called the it a I just called Ash. it a tree person. I don't think she knows you. You cannot travel beyond the bounds of Asher. Oh, one of these things. <laughs> Which are no help whatsoever. So she'll um, go inside. So you go inside to have a meaningful uh, discussion with your parents. Meanwhile, Kitu, you are a tr- you are approached by a about five ten, five eleven. A uh, person who is made of tree. What height do I have him at? That's a great question. He walks over. Hello. Hello. Hey, so, I have a few questions. All right. Are you... Oh, very cool. Remember. So, I, um... He looks different. So, um... <laughs> she's like, it's I have questions cool. about this, um... Dark Citadel? Oh, uh, the Dark Citadel, yeah. How, how far away is it? Okay, I'm just going to let you know. Nobody knows. Unless yep. you're, like, part of it. Aren't you, you like, trees? Uh, no, all I'm not. part of the trees? Okay, no. It's not Giant like forest. That. It's not like that. Okay. The books are wrong. Mm, yeah, it's not like that. Okay. I'm here, for, I'm here for a certain amount of time. I do have some swag with trees. I can talk to them. I can get them to work with me. But I can't exactly, like, you know, like, hey, point me to where this vastly powerful thing is. They all just won't, like, turn a branch. <laughs> that would be very helpful. It would be very helpful. It'd be freaking amazing. But Okay, so do you know about the staff? Oh, the staff of the forest? Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. It, is it in fact there? I've, you I've don't never know. seen it. So what does it do? Well, the legends say that it allows you to control the forest, and it also allows you to bring the forest to your aid. It allows you to grow plants. It allows you to connect with plants from uh, different places. and allows you to travel through them. So if someone was in, someone had this staff of the forest, you say, um, it possibly, like, I could get trees from the Platinum City to come here. Uh, or no, those were, if I needed, you know, if trees. I needed, if I needed um, trees from Well and Rift. Well, you need to be actually, you know, talking to the trees. You need to go and talk to the trees. It's not like all of a sudden you'd be like, oh, I want a tree from the moon, and like a moon tree will just like jump from the moon and land on it, and land but on the, here. So th- but so if I talk to these trees, like the Asheran trees, yeah. I could then then the ash the, the staff would help me do that, and then. Those ashen trees could then talk to some other trees, and then. Oh yeah. And can, the trees can be pretty. Well, like according to legend, yeah. Pretty hazardous. Well, you know, yeah, travelers. I'm, I'm, as as a person who is part tree himself, yeah, they, so you know, they, we do have individual personalities. So there's some there's some nice trees and there's some kind of not nice trees. Okay. Well, I get talk you. about those willows. So, yeah. Just, you know, like you know, you got. She's like okay. She is like so. Um, Hmm, I have some more questions. Oh, huh? the Oaken things. Do you know what they? What's going on with that? How are they? Oaken. You don't know about the people uh, covered in oak armor. Oh, the oak. Oh, the oak. Oh, yeah, they're still here. Evidently. They were. But there's some here. I saw five. Yeah, there's. They weren't like you know. They were new. They kind of like were just, like people were kind of like, oh, what's this? And like, we've asked him, was, was telling everyone about. Uh, like how the oakborn and Andrasani like found how to make these oakborn, which are like guardians of the forest. So you guys made them. Well, yeah, they the made them at the Dark Citadel. Them. They figured out how to make them at the Dark Citadel, and they were they brought them out, saying like in, the, in, the, in times of turmoil, the oakborn will give us it's, strength it's to like repel. Is this like a new thing? Oh yeah, pretty new. You know, with like set last like you know, a couple months. Who, do you know who is at the Dark Citadel? Why would they be taking females? Females? Yeah, they're taking females to the Dark Citadel. You don't know that? Why would they be taking females? Uh, well, you see. <laughs> are, are, you, are you speaking about Zathram's wife? Oh, uh, you go right knows about Zathram's wife. Well, I understand that, but well, then why would... So you have any... It's not just women. Well, there's the tree mothers. The tree mothers. Okay, there's the like... tree mothers, which are like, once again, I've never been there. But, you know, you, I have a lot of time to read. <laughs> so, like, you know, there's... books are made of paper. The Citadel. Well... Mm. These are made of skin. Equal opportunity. Okay. <laughs> we, we actually use stone slates to write everything oh, down. Oh, nice. Because, you know, they can't hurt the forest. Oh. Until we learn the uh, sixth level, speak with stone. That's right. <laughs> and and then the stones are also angry. They'll cry out. <laughs> Talk stone juice. And, <laughs> and Solus can speak the stone. So. And goes, well, um, as far as we know, the Dark Citadel was originally the fortress of... Mordmoins and was retaken by Asher. Okay. When it was reconsecrated by Asher, she left people there to kind of take care of it and continue her work there. The tree mothers were one of them. And these tree mothers are the ones who create the connection between my kind and the material. Oh, they form okay. the magical seeds that the Asherans plant when they're born. Hmm. And I'm assuming this has been going on for, like, centuries. Yeah, over a thousand, a couple thousand years. Yeah. Okay, wow. That's nice. Um, what would happen if the Dark Citadel fell to an um, evil power? Um, Is there protections? Do you know anything about that? Uh, again, I've never been there. Uh, I understand. You haven't seen it. 
of I, not I, far <laughs> beyond this backyard. So she, <laughs> so she, she, she just said, so you read anything about like if protections on the dark side of the if something bad was to happen? Well, there are a few things there. Of course, uh, the legend is that the stuff of the forest is there. There are a couple of things there that are that are needed for protection, that needed to be protected. So we know that it has protections on it. What kind of things are there that need to be protected? I think that's a good question for today. Well, the fall place of Mordmoins was there. The who? The fall place. So where Mordmoins was killed is there. So it's, you know, dark land. Thus the dark citadel. Yeah, thus the dark citadel. The Can land he be tainted. remade? Mm. Don't do not it. Not in my, like, knowledge. You take, like, some, some laws of the world that have to be kind of thrown out of whack. Oh, uh, we got some laws of the world right. thrown out of the whack. I'm just... He is not some no. She said. She says the is laws of the ed- world are out of whack. Medicaid so. edible. <laughs> Sorry, medicating pigeon. Cuckoo. Cock, so cock. she, so she, asks that because she she knows that things are messed up right now. So the the so the staff and this this grave. Well, some artifact of Mold Wounds is actually kept in the dark city. I'm not sure Beyond what it is. the the forest act. Before, like, be, where Mordmoins died, something was left behind. And it's kept there for safekeeping. Okay. Okay. The staff of the forest is also kept in the, you know, Asher and Asher's staff sense. of the forest. And the last remaining, like, whatever, Mordmoins. And she can't just, like, place. magically call this staff. Pump it out. Okay. Asher's been gone for a thousand years. Yeah, she's uh, she's not gone. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> she's You're like blowing these people. Mark just She just goes. She just says. She says she's that, okay. alive. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, you know, she's always in her heart. You know. Oh, you're a follower of Asher. <laughs> no, roll <I'm> deception. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, roll deception. <laughs> God. You know, she's always learn in... to shut your trap. <laughs> She would just have a problem with that. Yeah. Um, fourteen. Yes. Okay. Fourteen. For, what, was, what was her two characters' name? Macaria. Macaria also had an issue with that. All of mom's kids. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> they jump right into danger and can't keep their jobs. <laughs> I'm not in danger. I'm sitting here talking to a tree. Not you're talking to and my best friend, excuse me. And it seems like he, you're like, well, she always lives in her heart. She's part of us, you know. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, no, I'm not a follower, but you know. And I'm he's like, that. oh, okay, yeah, I get it. You know, it's not you know, for I'm everyone. <laughs> I'm everyone not a follower. Has their way in life. I'm more of a well and Rift girl, not really the Asher thing. Oh, well and Rift. Okay. How's, how, how's that working out? That's mm. Wonderful for me. <laughs> oh, maybe whatever works for you. <laughs> It is. That's what I'm saying. Nice floppy he, ears, great hair. You, you see why he was my best friend. Divine <laughs> accord, a divine appointment. You know, yeah. it's all good. It's all good. Uh, well, we don't have to talk philosophies right now. Well, I did, like I said, I did do a lot of reading. <laughs> We're not going to talk philosophies right no, now. All right, we cannot talk philosophies. Um, but I like, you know, I. it's been a while since I've had like a good conversation. Well, we're not going to take this all night. No, all right. We have missions to do. Do you? Yes. What are they? <laughs> Got missions to do. I can't tell what you they? everything. What I can't are? tell you everything. I thought you were one of Amadraya's friends. I am. So then we should be good I don't friends know ourselves. If she, she totally thinks that. I'm trying to. Maybe I can help. <laughs> hanging out in this forest. Hanging out. <laughs> trying to find some information. Just like on, just, on what? On the trees, on the staff, well, on, on the orc board. Let me. So, okay, let me put, push you in the right direction. If you want to know about the Dark Citadel, you're going to want to talk to Adrazani or Dravinsky. Yeah, I'm assuming Resist. those are the over in the, the leaders. The, oh, yeah, they're the leaders. Uh, you're going to want to go talk to them. Uh, or you can wait around and see if anyone gets taken to the Dark Citadel. Why would they be taken? Well, you know, certain people like, need some help. It's like... Are people leaving in the dark citadel every five minutes? Is there a train? And Is there a bus? He looks one way, looks the other. And he leans in. He's like, it's for people who don't conform. Well, that Trouble sounds like me. 
like, <laughs> yeah. So if you don't, you know, kind of keep a low profile, you're going to get taken there. Why, why do you think Amadria was trying to keep us a so little like, profile? So, like, and it's not exactly, like, known as the best more. place. <laughs> mm, so I could just be, that would be, like, the fast track to get there if I wanted to get there. It, yeah, it's also the fast way to get into prison to just be admitted to the prison. Don't so it's not exactly, you know, favorable because you don't really exactly have anything and you're usually kept on the lock and key when you're in freaking prison. But, you know. Wow. <laughs> you know, it is the fastest well, way to find it's a very gra- It's a very <laughs> aggressive, you're a very aggressive tree spirit. I've just been, like, for the last couple of weeks, it has been a rough time. I've, my, my brain has been split between That's two right. worlds. And, you know... It's okay. I just got back. I'm actually a little tired. Maybe I'm just tired. Maybe you should take a nap. Do yeah. trees take a nap? Yeah. It's not exactly a nap in the... You hit him hard enough. So, she's yeah. like, so why don't you chill over in by your... Can you chill over here, or you have to go by your tree? Well, no, I just kind of... I do have kind of... Or is that, is that the tree, or was... Or is the tree no, that's tree? my tree. And, okay. you know, I can kind of go know. within the bounds of Ashra, but, you know, I haven't really needed to go outside, especially since, you know... Do the your whole, branches the stretch out? The scandal with Amadria went down. It's not exactly oh, easy. Oh, that's, you know about the scandal. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know all about you know, it. She's a little oh, tight-lipped yeah. about it. You know, she knows a lot oh, about me, but she's yeah, not I'm sure the secrets you want to keep. You should tell everybody. Yeah, but she knows all about my secrets. You know, I'm talking to you, and... You're no one a lot more than you should. Roll me either deception or persuasion. I'm laying you know right now. Oh, 18. You, that you was nice. You probably Let me see. would not tell her persuasion. anything. Persuasion. We'll see. Persuasion is one of my natural favorites. Natural 20 is a natural 20. Mm-hmm. It's a 20. You rolled a natural? No. It's a dirty 20. A dirty 20. So what did you, so did you roll persuasion or deception? Persuasion. Persuasion. So where you're, where he's like, I'm sure you have things that you don't want to come up, and you're like, no, you know what? But we've no. been really busy. We haven't really had time to sit around the fire and like. And he goes, ash oh, we, had, we had a whole week and of he goes, walking. He goes, oh, oh yeah, I totally get that. I my, myself have not done a lot of traveling, but you know, I totally get that. And walking like, like getting into the nitty gritty. You just good. probably, you guys like what met like weeks ago, yeah. so you guys aren't like the best of chums here. Don't want to yeah, disclose all the family secrets. I don't need to know her family secrets. I wanted to know what happened. I heard that she was a... Well, that's kind of the family secret. I heard that she was a deposed um, guardian. Oh, yeah. What did she, <laughs> why did she get deposed? Um, I don't think it's really my place to say. Oh, Mix thing up and it's force between them us. through... Uh... Still, I don't really... I mean, if I were to talk to you your family and I was like, hey, what's that stuff? Right now all the stuff that she they, went through. They could they wouldn't I'm sure they wouldn't they tell probably her. let you know. They may let you know, you never Romeo know. Per, Romeo persuasion check. They're twenty they're natural all, twenty? It was a natural no. twenty. No <laughs> No My family's gotta it might kinda my family might give you the right questions. You, they might, you never you know. You had a whole traveling session to ask me this thing. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm mad about this. <laughs> and I'm going to be mad about this because he... She's like, you know... You she trusts this guy! You know how well and rough people are. Sometimes well, they lose you know. lips. I, I'm not necessarily one of those people. I, I don't know all the... <laughs> I don't know all the details. All the details, Inside. that's okay. <laughs> you could roll inside. <laughs> because I don't know all of the gory details, but I do know that there she There were gory is... details. That's well, even I don't know better. <laughs> you know, that's okay. You know. Skip all the fluff. Get to the gory part. <laughs> I don't know all the gory details. Okay. But apparently... She's leaning in. Uh, Her magic. <laughs> back in the face, she worked very closely with Titania. Yeah. And apparently Oberon didn't exactly like that. Yeah, I heard that. So he like, like did his thing. And like his cursed. thing <laughs> <laughs> Why? She's like, did okay. his thing and like, you know, threw a curse her way. Oh, okay. Not like her No <laughs> The heck is wrong with well, you? He's a fae person, you know? That <laughs> doesn't mean anything. There's yeah. the people, you know, fairies and you know, yeah. Like, do all these weird things. <laughs> you know, yeah. Seducing the next door neighbors and, you know, there's a whole she, story not, about that. He's not an incubus. May I point <laughs> you 
Okay. Towards the teenager over there. <laughs> and may I point you towards the door? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, maybe she's a, you know, they have a story about you know yes. actually about what Ronan and Tatiana about. Yeah. Charming people into. Oh yeah, I've read, so, you I've, know. I've read that play. You know, Midsummer Night. Yeah, there's Midsummer the Nights. Midsummer yeah. Night thing. You know, I, yeah. I've been, when an elf loses her magic. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So okay. So Oberon didn't like Titania oh, well, taking. Well, no, what? Oberon and well, Titania are married. Yeah, I know. But he's like, <laughs> he didn't like that. She was getting all the attention. That's a Midsummer Night. So he's like, oh, oh, I need to go tell Okay, so then, so then he cast some sort of thing on her. Yeah, he threw that dark shadow. Oh, and she didn't say did. Nothing. She get to accept that. the shadow, or did it just cast? Well, you know, fake magic. No, no, it I don't takes magic. a little bit of both. What's his name? Something like Wendo. <laughs> it was. It's it bottom. Was. Bottom. It, it was. So it gets turned into an ass. It was turned into an ass. <laughs> okay, so she said so. I so, played Nick Bottom. It was fun. So, um, so Oberon cast right does Uh-oh. his does his thing. Likely harasser. So. <laughs> so Oberon does his thing, and she falls from grace. Yeah, as far as I know. Uh, so what's with the tattoos thing? on her arms? <laughs> are those Titania's tattoos? Yes. Oh, okay. Those are Oberon's tattoos. Why would you want to hide those from Oberon? He left his mark. It's a thing of, like, Oberon... <sighs> he like, wanted her to get them removed. To, I'm and... trying to th- remember... Oh, he's really shit talking about He's I'm trying, trying to get them removed. I'm still, like... Removing waking out is very hard. and like it's coming out of plane sickness. Okay, so basically, so, Oberon, she was working for Titania. Oberon stepped in and stepped messed in up. and messed it up, so she had to be booted out. Yeah. That's, so she had to go. She, that seems a little stupid. What? When, when did Lathander get involved? Oh, he's the god of hit. Oh. Oh. Okay. He's the god of what? He's the god of hit. I thought Ashra was Ashra, the god of Ashra. Ashra abandoned. Ooh, after yeah. Ashra Remember left, after Ashra left, Lathander kind of really stepped in. He's the god of new life oh, and all that. Stuff. Oh, and so, so like there you they, go. the cult of Ashra is about bringing new so life the, to the that, forest and that, bringing and bringing okay. the forest. So more she's life. working for Titania. Oberon doesn't like that. Slips in, and then Lathander just like. Well, no, thousand years ago when Ashra abandoned the forest. Oh, poor. Uh, Lathander was like, the people of Asher were like, well, what do we do now? Uh, like, you know when ants are walking in the line, you put the, you put the cracker in the way, and they're like, I'm lost, where's the line? And like, all of a sudden, like, the, Lathander was in K, nice. and he picked up the cracker, and he's like, no, there's Walk the line. Straight. And now they're like, praise Lathander. Oh. So I now Lathander's top dog. Okay, so now Lath- and Titania and Oberon are just their, their normal selves. Oh, yeah. They're and Asha's there. is where she totally is. totally an Amadriya thing. Over here, okay. we're all Lathander and Asha. Okay. I get it. Sorry. So yeah, she, was sent to, <laughs> she was sent to the Fae? No, that was completely accident. She decided to go to the Fae? No. No, it was completely no, it was accident. Complete accident. <laughs> a complete accident? Like... Yeah, you just... She's I've never just, in. like... I've never just wandered into the Fae. Never. Well, not one time in my life. You have not been trying. Uh, then it's not an accident. <laughs> you haven't not been drunk. Oh, you've never been to Singapore. <laughs> uh, okay, you know, I'll give that to you. Okay, so I know a little bit more. I'm, I'm starting to get nothing's kind of tired. Deni- I'm going to go sit in my tree. Deni- nothing's nothing's um, accidentally swaying the thought that the magic had to leave. <laughs> I will talk to her more about you it. Should I will. Talk to her. I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm going to go sit in my tree. It's okay. That's probably better for you He's anyway. He's guilty. Okay. You might, I'm gonna go you sit might, in my tree. You might, you I probably might. said yeah. too much. And if she does ask, I said don't tell her. I'm not saying <laughs> your secret is safe with me. Trust you. me. Thank you. Thank you. I just no way. No one will ever know. We all know that's <laughs> a lie. <laughs> it's, just, it's safe with me. I won't be telling her anything. All right. Thank you. Because I just got back. I want to make sure that we're all. She looked like she was having. She looked like you two were really close. So I don't want to offend that. You know, I just went to like this big, like essentially like medical procedure, and she yeah. just called me back, so like I don't want to go through all that again. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. And then she might not she be there. Your life, and you read her whole story. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote her natural story immediately. It's, what not what not okay. To do. it's okay. You know, you we all got stories. Immediately. I'm sure she's gonna. I'm sure she's gonna. The base level. I'm not sure. I'm gonna. Tea. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of tea spilled before we get to my house, so we gotta go to that stupid farm. Like literally, like so little tea. It's, it's okay. Small. It was good. It was good. Earl Grey. So it's tea. nice taste for the day. 
All right, and he goes, is like, well, it was a pleasure meeting you. It was delightful. Um, please keep delightful. us safe. Don't let her die again, because if that happens again, I don't think I'm going to, like, you know, okay, like so. that. I, I, I'm straight up just going to be like I'm going about. To I'm really hoping that we all. I, I would plan. rather. Like, hey, if she goes again and I'm pulled into that thing again, just freaking burn the tree. Let me see when we go back. <laughs> I think that none of us want to die. So yeah, that's a good thing. We would prefer to stay alive. That is a good Morty dead. All right. The living it's of us. It was a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure. If you ever need anything. Do you mind if I lean on your tree? Yeah. yeah. Just like kind of. It's kind of like grass. It's this tree. Uh, that's okay. So I'm going to so lean gonna, down the tree. And he goes over and he like sits in like the knot of his tree. To go. And she leans on the tree and takes over it. Um, wedges vision. Okay. And hearing. <laughs> so she can spy on you. So me, I go back in the house. <laughs> I can't go in. Don't go inside because I don't want you to hear anything. Oh, no problem. I'll stay out here. I can be a private. <laughs> Okay, you don't know <laughs> what private means. Nope. And it yes, she does. Assassin group. Private means don't let anybody I mean, else know. This that comes you're from a single <laughs> child household to a multiple child household. This is a, there is uh, basically no secrets like, in a multiple child household. Okay, so I haven't told anybody, and you. This tree just confirmed you lost your magic with Oberon when he slipped. And you still got the wrong idea. Sorry, Tom. Wow. When he just when he sl- just did his thing. <laughs> I don't know what his thing was, but, she but was he banished. did it, and he was bad. You were banished for it. That's right. Soil goods. <laughs> Soil goods. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Uh, I love you, Tina. I love you. I love you so oh, much. I do love you. <laughs> but come on! <laughs> it's okay. So, so Kitsu, <laughs> Kitsu sits in a weird you crisscross need a, applesauce. Do you need a moment before we can continue? <laughs> Let's give continue. you a moment. Continuing on the spine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gonna go get some water. Can you get me some? Yes. I, I made her leave the room. Yes. That's mean. So... <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. across Asher. Keep your judgment over there. <laughs> Actually, not across Asher. As in Kitsu's the yard. Having, as Kitsu's having this lovely conversation, deep in Kitsu's pocket, That's the me. cards what? sit oh. silent. <laughs> they can't move around independently. That's the whole point. <laughs> but inside of them, the windows, <laughs> the 51 windows. That's right. Because, are they... I still have one that's empty. The 51 windows stand before you, Lux. I am going through as quick as I can and just taking inventory, trying not to be emotionally invested, uh, but probably most likely being uh, more and more angry okay. as I continue. I only put one. I would like you to roll me a way. medicine check. Oh, shoot. I only put to one. See person. how many of these guys are alive. Are alive. Oh, <laughs> nice. Boy. I only put one guy in there. He's back in there. That's yes. cool. That's so cool. Uh, 15 plus 2, 17. 17. As you are running past these windows, looking in, you're seeing, at one time, you're seeing one one man sitting at dinner, and it looks like he's choking on something. Oh. And he's like, choking for eternity. I did not put this guy For in. eternity. How come he you see a, um, as you're going back and you're oh. down, and you see another oh. man. You're you see another man with his head in a bucket. I'm not kidding. And he's just, and he, with, it looks like this kind of shadowy hand is going forward and like holding him. He's the bucket, drowning. And you're seeing the bubbles like eternity. burbling over. That's pretty How sad. horrid! Like, I didn't do it. ever like have any kind of like relief. He just gets drowned it. over and over and over and I'm over. I'm just again. telling you. I didn't and you're do just it. going by. And you see like at least like ten people oh that are in the last moments of life, just in that torture. I think that's nice. what the nice. deal is. And you get to like the like the last two. And you're like, oh, gosh seen some horrible things here. Like, what's going on? And you go up to, like, one of the he last bad cards, man. and you're like, oh, thank God, it's blank. Oh, my God. Oh, thank the moons, it's blank. Yes. And then you're like, oh. at least that's the end. And you turn around, and you see the actual last card. Uh. In which you see an elven man. <laughs> Ears like that flop down like much like Keats. His hair's blonde. He has like that kind of tan or dark skin. Did he look like that when he was outside? 
No, that wasn't okay. That's not me. Never mind. <laughs> and he's looking shocked. You need some help over there? Like he's just like. And <coughs> that's where you see him. He doesn't look injured. Thank you. So he's still alive. Yeah. Damn, um. So we can't really communicate through the windows, correct? Not as far as you know. Well, he could communicate with you in oh. kind of basic things, but he couldn't like directly communicate. With you. Um, so I'm going to just try to do some basic communication with him, and like, and who as are you? Like, kind of like wave at him through the window, he kind of not changing his expression. Hmm. Um. Like he's stuck in that moment of terror. Oh, wonderful. Does it look like her? <clears throat> no. Bobby ears. Um, Same race. Give me a history check. Just to see if you can tell. Yeah. Uh, that would be a total of eight. Eight. Yeah, floppy ears. They all look the same. Kind of, but you know he's um. He's made a racial comment. But you know that he, she's well, well he's well and rift, he's well and rifty. She just not yes. might not be Are my you're brother. From yes. Yeah. Only Yellow one. skin, floppy we ears. We get to explore this lovely thing where they're both wood elves. But I'm a wood elf with yellow skin, from floppy Lundgren, ears. And she's from Azure. We get the thing that we get to explore. Regional variants. <laughs> so that's why everyone in the Platinum say knew I was Ashram was because I have green skin. And why and everyone always, knew that she was in Well and Rifty And they were always a, a little offended by me. Because she's a wood elf from the jump, from the like marshland, and she's a wood elf from the actual forest. Got it. So it looks like one of you. I try to like mouth her uh, her name to the person on the other side. It goes. Do you want to like try and like because he's saying uh, something to you? I'm gonna try to hear what I'm. What he's saying? What am I rolling for? Oh, forget it. No, never mind. I, I didn't get it. <laughs> Perception. Oh, uh, just kidding. Yeah, I didn't get it. Okay. So you just hear him go. Point. Not on this conversation. I'll pull. I'm gonna chew her out, and then I'm gonna take that card and I'm gonna pop him out. Uh, yeah. Out. So you so can't, can't really place what he's up. saying, and neither can you place who he's like. You know, he looks familiar. Looks like you're not exactly sure what he looks like. So it yeah. kind of just leaves you to be like. I, don't I just know he's well and riften. Yeah. Same ears. And as you kind of like, you know what, we'll deal with this when we get out. And you guys, and you go back to like your own window. Mm-hmm. And as you're walking to your window, something just catches you. And you're like, and you look over and you see that study again. With the guy with the stab through the eye. But only he's not stabbed by the eye. Only he's laying on the desk. Who's well, dead, dead. Actually, no, you don't see him like that. You see um, just his body in a ditch, covered in leaves. <laughs> covered in leaves. You put the whole ditch That's in the car. In the <laughs> so his soul is free, his body has just mm-hmm. been captured inside of this thing. I double check to make sure his soul is free. You like tap and. Yeah. Just. Uh, yeah, roll me a perception. I don't, I don't perceive anything. So you're too <laughs> upset. So Lux, you just go boom, 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 trying to like get some kind of reaction. And you're just like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm mad, no matter I'm whether. Mad. <laughs> I'm not sure what this feeling is, but I know I'm going to have a talking to. Be, you do have anger back. Yeah. You have anger and sadness back. I don't like to use those emotions. Well, it doesn't matter. You have them. <laughs> I'm just going to deny them like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't deny them. I'm gonna deny you that feel it's not them, though. I feel nothing right now. You don't. You feel I feel them. nothing. You feel those emotions burgeoning at you. But I know I'm gonna have a talk with Kitsu. Exactly. Do I hear my name? My ears. Very right? calm. Very not emotional conversation with Kitsu. Kitsu, I know you can hear me. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> I get the impression that something might be up. The last time he yelled at me when I took it out of the car, so I'm really not gonna open that wound again in so the middle as you of a quiet begin to area. Scream out, Kizu, I know, you, I know you can't hear me, but you and I will have a talking too. You hear that echo into the space. Cheer me. And you hear the echo kind of like 
almost like launch back at you and he goes, she can't hear you. <gasps> <coughs> that's awful. That's kinda, never good. I kind of feel like. That is never I kinda, good. I kind of feel like Dory. The, that the is Dory, like, never Dory, good. You my conscience. Yeah. And I think that's what Lux would think. Like, that is never good. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> She's not here. I actually, I actually kind of expected to come back and go, you're an idiot. <laughs> giant um, space station, 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 cookie station. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go back to my thing and contemplate all the dead bodies that I've seen and all the living bodies that I've seen. Only and... perception. All right. I don't remember Ooh. which card they were in because. Uh, dirty twenty. I obviously can't bury a body in As you're sitting there, you're looking at your own window where you see the outside, the inside of uh, Kitsu's pocket. You're just kind of like thinking to yourself, man, this is... And every so often you just see something out of the corner of your eye. Oh. I'm going to try just... to spin and try to look at it. Okay. Uh, dexterity check. That's never good. <laughs> Uh, the check or a save? Check. 18. 18. So you spin and darting between two of the uh, frames, you see this in this like figure. Oh, jeez. Sorry. I've seen you. Show yourself. You need not be afraid. Oh, I'm not afraid. Uh, as you see, like the the one of the panels, like these long fingers wrap. Up. Mm -hmm. I don't fear those kept in my domain. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Good. Would you care to come out and have a conversation? You see, like this small piece of a head coming from over the top. You see, like, the black just kind of mesh with the black behind it. The thing, the first bit of color that you see is the eyes, which are a bright <clears throat> neon yellow. I pull out my loot and sit down. You are not here to feed me. No, I am not. Shame. Your misery is delectable. So you feast on the sufferings of the people inside of your cards? Yeah. And what should happen if all of your cards are empty? I would become hungry. Are you allowed to feed in the body of the thing that uh, no longer has a soul? Or is it the souls that feed you? Silence. Mm. When I'm released, I'll make it my duty to make sure that every single one of these cards is released. Who will I have to thank for my own? Who owns your cards? Oh, Marlon Brandt, you well, better not. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't say you didn't do anything. Thank you. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you. And what should I call you? <laughs> or are you a being without a name? I am justice. Justice. It's just hmm. I know. I know one person. Just out of the five of us, I know that one person needs uh, to have that. Justice. I'm a dry. I'm just joking. Why? I'm, 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 I'm trying to be justice. Everybody. What have I done to you? No, you need justice to like serve on all the people who hurt you. Oh, th those people can go in the card. Yes. We can work together. <laughs> I feel no pity. I feel no pity. <laughs> All the people. 
I didn't put these yeah, guys in the cart. Yeah, you'll know for other things, too. <laughs> uh, that's, she's just finding out. Answer one question she's... for me, Justice. Just us. <laughs> Should I place someone inside this card who is of evil intentions? You would be able to make them suffer, yes? I would feast on their suffering. Excellent. I think that we should have an accord. Would you offer me your suffering? You are delectable. I'm sure that I am. But my suffering is growls. I allowed you access to see the others because I knew it would bring you pain. And it has made you suffer. Mm. I'm sorry to inform you. My sorrow and my suffering is a weapon. And it's so tasty. However, I will find others. A paper salesman comes to mind. He's dead. He's dead. But I'm wondering if I could get his soul. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find those whom you may exact your justice upon inside these cards. Those who actually deserve it. I will think on this. Justice, correct? Justice. Justice. Justice is for all. Suffering can be had. I will contemplate this, whether it's justice is for dogs or for wolves. Very well. So we'll leave you. So we'll leave you in the dark with your new friend. <laughs> and still, Lux would still be more comfortable here than he would be in the Fey. <laughs> Just want to point that out. And we're going to end up at the Fey. Yeah. What? You better get used to it. No, I'm going to say in the cards. <laughs> oh my gosh! So out I found my happy place. Meanwhile, with so suffering. So he's not going to yell at me anymore. With he will justice not yell at and me. her suffering. Yeah. So, uh, meanwhile, outside of the car, as <sighs> Kitsu leans up against a tree and uses Wedge's eyes, we journey inside of the house. My eyes have been opened. As you re enter your family home. Nice dishes. <laughs> Does Wedge have to do a uh, stealth check? No, because uh, Amadrea accepted Wedge on her oh. shoulders oh. and that she's blurred. And she knows she, she's entering the home knowing that Wedge can I can... Exactly. She knows all the uh, She knows how to be a... She knows how familiars work. And she's a warlock. As she's walking Would in. she think about this? I think it's a roll. Yes. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm actually believe that it is. Let's let's have a roll. Death saving rolls. No, I want her to live. Well, Can I say no. what I want to do before you yes. make me roll for something? Yes. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sorry, Carly. We'll be back. We'll be back. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you say that and you never are. <laughs> it's true. We're bad. It's true. <laughs> it's true. We're we're instigators. <laughs> um. Before she fully walks, or like before she like starts walking first, she goes, I tell you, like, feel me, like, pat my shoulder, just, just right where, next to where you are. Could you put your fingers in your ears and keep your eyes closed? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. I'll roll me your persuasion check. <laughs> She's it's still a roll. I've done it. She is invisible, <laughs> and she is a child. <laughs> They're oh, all little it, kids and never answers me. It'll be a fun little game. Twenty-four. A little oh. kid's cheat all the time. It'll be a fun little. She goes game. okay. Should, should we make it a contested and roll? She's invisible. <laughs> yeah. You can't see if she does it. Yeah. But she goes. 
Okay. Yeah, and, and right before she does it, she goes, and I do this. You take your ears out and open your eyes. How will I see? Yeah. You'll <laughs> feel <laughs> no, my hand next to you. Okay, yeah. you're not gonna like big, do big, big movements at all because if you do, I'll kind of just fall off because I was kind of holding on and now I can't because <laughs> now I'm holding on my ears. <laughs> In the middle of so your you conversation, so you you're gonna hear you're just kind of go, oh, 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 that's you have a pocket? Could have been safe this entire time. No! <laughs> I thought she was in my pocket before. No, they sit on your shoulders so that way she can look through them. Yeah, no, she, she goes, why don't you go into her spare pocket? I just it's didn't know if that dresses had pockets. Some do. Uh -huh. The elves do. <laughs> have you seen this dress? So you're not hiding she, an imp in this pocket. You feel like about a billiard ball size lump I've seen in your this pocket. dress. <laughs> Unless she's got some attributes that and, we're having talked about. There's other things inside the when pocket. I, <laughs> when I put my hand, when I put my hand in my pocket, <laughs> you I got come out, out for my and phone. alert Keith, and let Keith to know that I need her. Okay, that okay. should happen. So I'll sit in my, I'll sit in here with my oh, you fingers in my ears and my eyes closed, and when. You put your hand in your pocket. There's just nothing else in there that you need, right? So you're not just gonna go in there for like a tic tac and like come out. Right? No, like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. I need to protect Mudge at all costs. She's adorable. <laughs> you, you said that about Ty, and he was the only now. one who died. Wedged him in your pocket. You said that about Ty, and he's the only one that died. <laughs> That's true. Right. And now this one's going to die, and you're going to have another coal to take to the fire. <laughs> this is a coal that's in a pocket, like a cut pocket. <laughs> he smothered him and died. <laughs> Kip, so as you go into your childhood home, the first thing that, is, that you recognize is it's smaller than you imagined. Oh, it always is. As you sit here and you're and you're entering into your house, you go through the dining room, the china cabinet uh, filled with like the plates and the dining room table. But you know also well with the large Arcadia doors that lead straight out into the garden. Uh, you see the living room just beyond, and this and the like sitting room. There's the hallway just off to the side, and you you hear um your mother talking to your father in like these kind of hushed tones. Can I hear what they're... Some very quick exchanges going on. Can I get close enough to hear what they're saying without being noticed? Yeah. That's well, you can, uh, you can only a perception check. So you can have you roll in stealth check. Uh, that's a 17. Okay. So you go up and you kind of hide behind the, the wall because there's no real door. Huh. So it's just like an archway. And as you kind of sidle up to the wall and kind of like peek around, it's that you're not exactly hidden, but you're kind of unobtrusive. Mm -hmm. And you hear that. You hear your mom going, no, it's really her. She's back. She's back. We just did the whole thing with you. He's okay. He's like, oh. Well. And you hear your father going, well, that's fine. That's great. I'm so glad you're okay. But do you think she'll be up for the other thing? For, for what we've got? Her mom goes, well, we did the whole thing with you. Maybe she's okay. Maybe she's okay with it. We can, it won't hurt to ask. He goes, you know I'm dry. She's not going to. If we make it sound like we actually know something, she's going to say, oh, you don't know anything. 
thing and go from there. Hmm. Hmm. She goes, cool. maybe she's grown. Kenny, she's grown. He goes, I would love to believe that, but that girl is strong-willed. We all know this. Don't worry. He goes, let me put some tea on. You head out there, and I'll be in there in a second. She, she walks in at that moment and goes, he goes, what are you wondering if he'll be okay with? Your mom goes, oh, well, I'm a dry. Well, let's go out into the sitting room. It's so much nicer there. Your dad's finishing up in here. He was just putting on, he was just putting on dinner. We're having, we're having some lovely sauteed vegetables. So let's go out into the other room. He's going to put on some tea and we'll be right out. He needs a moment to compose himself. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's going to take off the phone And her, your dad is just straight to the oven, not turning around. She sees, she has a direct eye line to him? Nope. He's back to you. Not, wrong word. She can see him clearly. Yes. You're not even going to say hi to me? I'll be on in a second. Okay. Are you dressed appropriately? Not wearing the bonnet. No. Yes. I'm covered. Thank you. I'll be out there in a second. I hope you like Jasmine. Of course I do. Your mom begins to like usher you into the next room. Come on, let's let, let's go. Let's go. Let's give your dad a second. <clears throat> it's all. It's a lot to take in. Let's go. Your mom hurries out into the sitting room and like quickly closes the drapes. Lights some candles. And like starts rearranging the furniture. She like pulls up a chair and like moves the couch and like fluffs all the pillows. She's and like rearranged that. Mama Dry is trying not to be hurt. She goes, you go ahead and find a seat anywhere. We, we, we. Find a seat anyway. <laughs> why is she rearranging the furniture? <laughs> yeah, Mom, why is she rearranging the <laughs> Well, company is in the house. You don't rearrange the furniture when company is in the house. They didn't expect her. You do it before company gets there. They, Nobody knew. They probably expected to never see her again. Maybe vacuum floor. But... <laughs> well, I have vacuums. It's not the freaking Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you do? Uh, she, <laughs> she says, that, are there, like, single Yeah, chairs? there's, like, a large, like, armchair. <laughs> She's going to sit in the armchair because she doesn't want either of them to sit next to her. The armchair is, uh, like, near, like, the corner of the room. It's kind of, like, looking into everything. It does have its back to the front door. There's no other single chairs. Nope. It does give you a completely straight view into the backyard. So you like you can look straight down the hall into the backyard. I think she feels comfortable enough that if someone were to walk in, they'd probably think she's her mom. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that'll be fine. And she just sits there and it's just like... Kicking herself for feeling disappointed. Your mom comes in, comes over and sits like on the side of the couch closer to you. Where like there's clearly only one other spot with like how she's arranged the furniture. And it's like on the far side of you. Mm-hmm. And there's like that one like sad little coffee table in between every, every <laughs> spot. And she just kind of sits there and she goes, <clears throat> uh, very clearly nervous. Not exactly sure how this is going to play out, but she's like, we're in it now. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
before her dad walks in, she goes, Who offered you help with you that you turned down? What was that? <laughs> when I came up behind you before you realized it was me, um, you said, we told you we don't need your help. Oh, oh yeah, don't, don't worry about that. It's just something we got going on around here. Now that he's fine, we don't need to worry about it. Mm. Yeah. What's the eye you straight with me? Kind of taking a second to like take in that one particular phrase. I'm sorry, when have I not been straight with you? You know what I mean. Never mind. We've been we've been approached by several people from the community to help correct his condition. was not what they were offering. What did they offer? They were offering to move uh, Yuke to a new Asher. was moved to a new Ashen. It, it'd be like the last part of you that lived in this house just left. So I'd li- I, I wanted you to have something still here. It's right about now that your dad comes in with like a tea tray, a pot of tea, a number of cups, a couple of, like, a, like a biscuit tray. And he walks over and he sets it down on the table. Starts handing out mugs. Tea. Tea. And it's the first time that your dad that your dad looks at you. He hands you a cup. Cream, sugar, honey. <laughs> and he hands you a small pot. That's a lot of <coughs> Puts out a tray of biscuits, and he goes and he sits at the end of the of the couch. Like originally, like sitting like that ramrod on the couch, where like he's clearly looking because that's how the couch is set. <laughs> Go, mom. And then he turns to like actually like look and be part of the conversation. So, so, what are we doing here? Uh, you came here just to check out Yuko or something else? That was a large reason. <laughs> That's cool. Um, another reason was there's a few, but second reason is Zach tried to contact me um, while I was in the Platinum City and I don't know how old the messages were but something was happening and said something about me too and it wasn't until I got there finally like, there you go. Yeah, he told me about my baby. But this year, dad yeah, kind of goes. It's not exactly like you stayed around long enough to meet her the first time. Not, not exactly. 
Hey, you are always welcome. We just asked you to stick to the rules. I don't think it was too much. But we're not getting into that. That's beside. We're not getting into that because you know you and I both disagree. Right. So, I ask again, why are you here? Last reason is the Council of Goddesses asked me and a few friends I made. That's why you're here. (laughs) (laughs) It is! I don't know the face. Um, To talk to Asher government to see if can help us win a war. A war with who? Please remind me, Carly's brain is not working. Uh, what are you asking? <laughs> Kellick? Yes. Who is the name Kellick? You wouldn't know it because you never... Kellick, the Archmage. Yes. He's dead. How the heck did he survive? You see your mom kind of go, now he's, let's, let's hear her out. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Matthias? Matthias? Mathor. Mathor. (laughs) Now let's hear her out, Mathor. Maybe she's got something. No, Delphine, he's dead. We certainly kicked her butt for being dead. <laughs> she would cause a whole lot of problems in, in the Phantom City for him to be dead. War Duke by his side. You say these two names right next to each other, Kellogg and War Duke, and you get a visceral reaction from your Racism. <laughs> oh, you mean a deeply cleric race based society? Looks says, oh yeah, you're not a cleric, you're a warlock. <laughs> oh yeah, you're one of those. You're one of those pores. <laughs> I know. The you're, you're a cult. <laughs> when you walk away from the cult. And I said what I said. My goddess. She was my goddess before she was my I don't know about your patron. But. Last time I checked. If a god was to die. They'd be sent back to her plane of existence. And then we'd be reborn. So if your goddess. Is indeed what she says she is. She should have. And an imp, when they are struck, are meant to go back to their plane of existence. Except he turned into a lump of coal with the weapon, Warduke. Warduke is dead. 
He is very. God, this is like, what is that? It's like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that one. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it. <laughs> War Duke is dead. He was thrown into the hills. Oh, he's upset about that. Nobody controls him. What you probably saw was a lookalike. Someone who's <gasps> oh wow. Someone who's took it out, taken up the mantle. There's no way they lie. AI, chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> Doppelganger. Hey, hey, man, Dad's a heavy denial. <laughs> we love you, Dad. I mean, it doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Not to you two. And your mom goes, No, wait a minute, honey, it does matter. Oh my God. It does matter. We all, we care. Not, we care. Not enough. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Explain it. Explain it. No, it was not. We simply once again asked you to follow the rules. <laughs> That's not conditional. It's just mandatory. <laughs> and when Zath broke the rules? You cast him aside? No, you wrote him a letter to take care of our little sister. He was the only one close by. And where were you? Wandering off at the behest of your goddess? Where'd she take you? Oh, to the cesspool. He's kind of got a point. This is the country folk. Oh, to the cesspool. Where we frolic with fairies and shadow fell. Well, it's kind of. Oh, kind of. Tell me, do they have a vampire lord in charge of the shadow section? Not anymore. But they did. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they still do. That's not the accent, so that's just Carly talking. So yes, I, we, we asked her to go to Zach. Because he was here. I'm not arguing that you... Also, when it goes to... Zach broke the rules... Zath followed the rules. And yet they still tried to kill him. Nobody. Yes, they tried to kill him. That's what happens in wars. The Machias wars weren't exactly pretty. We lost a lot. Ashra <laughs> lost a lot in those wars. I'm talking about when they said everyone my age, including your 50-year-old son. We needed to add soldiers. You're asking us to do the same thing now. What do you think is going to happen? Roll initiative. <laughs> oh, oh, ah! <laughs> Only one way to solve this. Now we are prepared. Hey, you got to find it. I <laughs> now Asher is prepared. Think to the leadership we have now. We are prepared. Andrazani and Gradinsky have actually made progress by following the rules. Do I know these names? No. The new leaders. 
When did they come into power? After Tarvin died. <laughs> About three weeks ago. <laughs> wow. Everything's fixed as of oh, solid. about last week. So basically, <laughs> 15 minutes ago, we got it. They were doing, they were conducting their practices before Tarvin would not sign off. He said there was no need, but they knew something was coming. And apparently, they were right. So tell me, out of all the things that your goddess can do, I love this dad. out of all the things that your goddess can do, why didn't she, in her all-knowing ways, see what two men couldn't? Two mortals. Explain that, if your goddess is so powerful. She was doing in the platinum say, trying to find a way to fix this crap that has been going on with our connection to the gods. You think your your connection's been diminished? Mine has too. You don't have a connection. Oh. I did! Yeah. <laughs> I do! You don't. <laughs> wow. There is a difference between a patron and a goddess. I tried to explain this to you, but you said I was being, what was the word? Stubborn? I can't imagine this guy being a stubborn. A bag that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Come there on, is guys. a difference between a patron and a goddess. A patron can be anything from the hills to the heavens. A goddess actually needs divinity. And she does. I have not seen it. This goddess that you serve? She's the one who marked your body. She's the one who pulled you away from your family. She's so you're telling me that these are divine actions, correct? You think she controls the land? Is the she land. not lady of the fae? Is she not master of her land? We are masters of ours, and we are expected to take responsibility for what happens in it. You must accept that she is at fault. Do not call me stubborn. I see the truth. <laughs> Sorry, that was a funny toe trip. <laughs> I also sense take wedge out of your pocket and throw it at his face. I also was like, I want to show that everyone else huh? that we are fine in this cool. situation. Oh, this is cool. just the only time I get to act. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> but is it true? No. The rings on our fingers say yes. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Back into it. <laughs> I have seen the truth. And the truth is that your goddess has no divinity that I have seen. She's not going to do something foolish to her. So. Roll your No. Delphine is kind of sitting there going, Okay, let's calm down now. <laughs> Remember, everybody, we all love each other in this room. This is a safe place. Bro, Wedge. Wedge, I choose you. Because of you, I'm just trying to figure out how to do this that would get him off her back, and also I don't know if it's... she's not doing something stupid that would cut her hit points. <laughs> okay. 
You have two allies out in the next turn. Your dad is old. <laughs> she doesn't want her dad dead. No. I'm not saying dead. He could fit a card, though. You do have an empty card. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> or... <laughs> Justice. I can see clearly now your dad is gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's... Oh my god. Uh, god damn it. Uh, she, she rolls up the sleeve of her right arm and goes, I know. She has divinity because it used to flow through me. And she does the little thing where she starts to use her old magic, but it fizzles at her fingertips. All right, I need and you to roll me a constitution through. save. Uh oh. No, it's just the little. She's not crafting a spell, it's just that little bit. We'd agree that doesn't cause her hit point. Roll me a constitution save. God damn it. Because of that stupid necklace. I can see clearly now. Point. Songs of my head now. Dang it. You look at the song about the alligator. <laughs> and there's a song about an alligator when it smiles. Never Five. trust a crocodile. Yeah, I don't know. As you start Never. to like summon Never. this Never. magic, Never. you're in I like five. Good. Um, like it's, okay. it starts at your fingertips and it just crackles down your entire arm. Like, <laughs> like you just shattered glass. I have to like hear like really loud music to get out. <laughs> and it literally takes both of your parents aback. This is what's left. I was, it was cursed away. I call her my goddess because she was my goddess. I did what I set out to do. I actually achieved my goal. How's that working out? And Delphine goes, now, I'm not having any more of this. Y'all not getting Mom casts, uh, I'm not having any more of this. You sit down, you sit down. Put that away. <laughs> I'm not having any of that. None, none of this. We, Mathor, you and I have spoken about this. We, we have something for you, and we want you to have it. And we want you to have it whether you, whether what's going on or not. Because it's a chance. Now, Matthew, I expect you to do nothing but sit there and shut your trap while I do this. And you will listen to every word I have to say. And when I'm done, you will then be allowed to speak. Do I make myself clear? She nods her head. Very well. I will be back. I expect you to be making apologies when I come back. And she gets up. And she takes a little step out of the room. And you and your dad sit in this kind of silence. <clears throat> Sorry. wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're still wrong. I'm sorry everyone got upset at me. You so being so right. <laughs> <laughs> it often happens when you're I'm so sorry, blatantly yo. wrong like you were. <laughs> Please accept my apology. <laughs> For pointing it out so efficiently. <laughs> that was honestly probably a stupid thing to do. I'm sorry. Flash your part on your dad. 
Does it hurt? Let me see. Takes a look at it. I was cursed. I can see that. Hey. So my father was cursed. Just happened. You just see this kind of golden bathe of light go over your arm. As the crack lines start to heal. Once he finishes up, he's like, and that's some powerful stuff right there. He goes, I'm stealing magic. I'm not really supposed to be using my magic. Are you sure that's in the seat? Yeah, and Seely cursed me. Hmm. Why? Nothing, he just... Hmm. Uh, doesn't feel like it. What does it feel like? Feels like uh, it's about this time that your mom comes back in for She goes. Eventually, your mom comes back in the room and she brings back this box. She sets it down. This is something that me and your father have been looking up at the slates. Oh. You said that whatever this was, was a curse. And so we went through and we <laughs> checked out everything that we could. And when Torvin was leader, we spoke to him. But many years of service that our family and your brother and all of us have done, and we asked him for a boot. And he brought back this. She kind of slides it across the table. This can help you get your magic back. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she well, just like, sorry, I forgot I forgot I said that. <laughs> she was like, I I I really don't want to get yelled at by you guys. <laughs> I You're okay to talk. Matt Matt or you stay quiet for right now. <laughs> Do I open it? Oh yes. She opens it. You see um inside there's like this kind of like hem cushion. And in the servant is a seed about so big. It's having an issue. There's a card. <laughs> it's okay. So you see about so big. It's a seed. Yes. I'm sorry, I don't follow. This is ancient forest magic. These were trees that were brought here by Asher and Murdmoris. These trees take negative effects and work around them. Whatever is going on, they can fix it.
Well, thank you. Do you go miss? <laughs> excited to uh, see you in all of your glory and see all that you were able to accomplish and see where you are. What's the catch? <laughs> you said you needed to ask me something about Sherry and Vic. I'm going... Zath already asked me to try and find Ivy, so I am going to do that. Ivy's fine. Ivy's safe. Where is she? Oh. Zath is worried sick. She's here. Where? I would like you to roll me a history check at disadvantage. In about your house. house. <laughs> she hasn't really walked through it in 50 years. In here. She's kind of peace with us. She's just safe right here. She will. She'll, she'll always be with us. She'll always be with us. Okay. What if I use the coin and I got the same roll twice? And then, then you're doomed. What did you get? That's pretty, un, that's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not allowed to. Yeah. I got this. Um, oh, it's, it's not a high DC. Kind of do this. Okay. If you like, it was mainly like if you like really crit failed, you're too caught up in the moment. And she's kind of like, what? What do you mean she's here? And then something comes to you. Your parents never had a shed. Oh, she's in the shed. Shed mimic. Oh, she's in the mimic. You're like, torture chamber. She, they never had a shed. They always kept their tools in a toolbox. They only have one tree. They have uh, five. <laughs> they have five, five trees. And you only counted four. It's a recent addition. Are all three of the trees like fully four. grown? All four, thank you. Of the trees fully yes. grown. So Actually true. there's there is only three. I forgot. What happened to Zath's tree? For a moment I forgot what happened to Zath's tree. And she went. Zath and Ivy's tree. <clears throat> well, Zath took it with him. Zath took it with him. Okay. Well, I'll ask him about that later. Ivy's tree's still here. She's leaving it. <laughs> Why are you sending her to Zath? At this, you see like an uncomfortability you start to say. Well, um, um, for math, there goes. The village elders, and she goes, Math or? And he goes, You, sh you don't tell me what to do. <laughs> the village elders knew that something was coming, as I have said previously. Mm -hmm. One of the things that they always thought was going to happen first is that the defender of Asha would need replacing. Sir. Yes. Is 
south always stays close by. Yes. But one can believe that at some time he would need replacing. Your brother's strong, and I know he is, and I'm sure that he'll get through this, but just in case they wanted a backup. They decided that Avon Lynn was the best option. We were sure that they would choose someone else from the village, an older applicant. He's lying to you. He's part of the cult. They all are. Because <laughs> the reason why I'm suspicious is because Zach didn't know why. Or at least he didn't tell her. They were planning on killing Brooke. That's what she thinks. 24. Mm. That's what she knows. <laughs> Careful not fall on that horse. Your dad is not lying, but he's not telling the whole truth. You can handle the truth. You're trying to get us off. No. You're not telling me everything. Tell me everything. Please. Something's coming. Um. Something's going to shake the world. Really what she told me. Oh, <laughs> needs to be prepared. And that starts with fortifying ourselves. We made the Oakborn our soldiers. Soldiers that will protect Asher. Give the guardian, the protector of Asher, the help that they need to succeed. Now, Zathrian is strong. But he's not in fat. Even now, they know that he has his weaknesses. And if those weaknesses are tested beyond his limits, we will need a runner up. And I'm too old to go back and fight. Zap said last session that they were sending people to attack him every day. Every day, a few hours. And they were. He believed that they were attacking him. Every every day, every few hours. All the ashes of people. It is Ashura. <laughs> well, it's the name of someone. Someone we met. <laughs> um. <laughs> she saw that man that was punching the tree, right? Nope. And they didn't tell you. Only I did. I told her there was a guy into the tree, didn't? No, oh, no, I yeah. told him. Yep. We told everybody. Nope, you told Lux. I, I guess we talked about it, but we mm-hmm. didn't talk to anybody else about oh, it. Oh, you were with your brother. Yep. Yeah, she Crap. was having her moment That's with her bro. Right. That's what happens in your hometown. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I, I understand. Mm-hmm. I'm not sad about that. A Vondelin came back to us crying and screaming, saying that we're after her. Oh, man. She was hysterical. We oh, decided God. that it was best to keep her hidden for a while, let her cool down before she can tell us where, what was going on. There's something out there there. in the woods that's starting to attack us. Did she see what, what was in the pile that had? You never looked at it. Sorry. None of us looked at it, did we? Nope, some of you did. Someone did? Some of you did, but you never asked. 
No one ever relayed the info. Nope. If only someone wasn't inside someone's pocket that they could. Do, do I know? No. You don't know that. I don't know what was in the pyre. No. Who looked in the pyre? Malhoros. <laughs> and Malhoros is the only one without an imp. Because he's a cat. You don't send imps with cats. Which pyre were they we talking about? They could ride on the one his inside back. of the church. Hmm. Yeah. 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 You were the only one who looked at it. So you don't know what. Have compartmentalization. <laughs> it's too bad we're not more trusting of one another. Too bad we're not, you know, together in these kinds of things. Oh my goodness, we didn't, uh, we didn't think bringing all six of us in at the same time was a smart idea. Minute any this group enters the town, shotguns. <laughs> That's that thing. There's the whatever's out there that's happening right now is starting here. They've made it this far. We need a response. talk to you about this scene. That you, you said that you told Dad that you think that you thought I'd be okay with something. Yes. Because of how it works. This seed, of how this seed works. Insight. It it repairs and deals with negative energy and works around it. But in order to do so, it needs something to help work around it. Like? You. It will interconnect you. Share the load between you, so that you could overcome She's hiking with that fellow car. And how him and Oakland are. So you can do that. Do a quick jump from this conversation yeah. to kind of do something else in the world. <laughs> Joey was here, he would see it too. We're gonna wait for that. We're gonna jump back in. <laughs> Never mind. Jump back over there <laughs> until he gets back so that way both of you can see it and both of you can react. I stab it. Whatever it is. You can't stab anything. You're in a card. I know, I'm having a conversation with a demon named Justice. Don't you have a brother named Justice? Or is that wrong? Mm -hmm. Okay. Justice is dead. You to be bound to a stream. No. His tree would have another place. She she puts her hand exactly where she saw a Lazar's. You would become the source of his connection. The power, the ancient connection between yourself and the forest would overcome the negative energies.
Yes. What was that? What did it say? Dad. Feels older. That doesn't matter. We have the way to get around it. We can get past it. And it's right about now that we're going to cut to the rest of the village. And the two people who are kind of wandering around outside. And you have to get a thing from Shoestring. You get a, you get a beep from Shoestring. He's like, hey, 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 Shoestring. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, you're going to see this. Because... I imagine you two have a very kind of react, a very serious reaction to this. Oh. Maharas and Solus see it. Someone new enters the village. Very quickly moving in. Almost at like, you know, the quick like almost like quick walking pace. Obviously, he's got somewhere to be, and he immediately turns towards him and drives house. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. You see him walking in, just like I was barreling boring. through. What you see this. Is this. You see him dressed in uh, that kind of in this similar armor. You see the um, heavy cloths wrapped around his neck, arms, and legs. You see the. Um, uh, sword on his hip and he carries a spear with him. Uh, the You see the tree parts of him uh, no, that are arcing off <laughs> on the left side. He's going dead straight from the driest house. Is it Elazar? Yes, it oh, is Elazar. Okay. The second you said what, I spear, I went, oh no, it's Wardy, but everything Word. else. Oh, he uh, he Dad, he, the he fake guy is here. Spear. Javelins are not spears. Javelin. Javelins on our spears. Spears. Short spears. <laughs> Does she know that then? No. I, I, I'm inside my house. That's right. I can't she warn her. immediately switches to Wedge and say, tell her Alazar is here on his way to her house right now. He can't hear. His hands are over his No, head. she popped out. She peeked out. Yeah, she she's, listened, she's been listening She's been listening and watching time. this whole time. <laughs> Even with the yeah, when your pay, when your leader makes a very high charisma check on persuading you to do so, and you're a child, I rolled a twenty-four. And she's okay. You got favor because she's, she's only because of me. Her. She's only here. She because has me. to follow her commands. She does like you though. She she did so. Malharas Solus, what are you doing with this information? Um, you see I'm Elazar, so this person who you know has been hunting, who works for <laughs> Kelly. It's not good. Heading no dead straight die. for Amadria's house, where you know that she is. Not good, people. I'm still, like, so confused about what's going oh, on. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> like, I just stand, like, still Mouth close. agape, eyes wide. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shoestring tells him mm. he needs to go, he needs to help her. Shoestring starts like pulling on your face. Like, come on. Come she on, says, you need to on, help her. Come on. What's going on? We gotta go. We gotta go. Where's this voice go. coming from? We gotta, in right here. You I know he's the whole time. <laughs> you knew he was with you. Trust me, I saw your face. I know it's crazy, but we got stuff to do. <laughs> Okay, so That's I, bad when I, Imp is like, your face, it's ugly, man. Dude, your face, that was frightening. I don't know what to do about it. It's a okay, lot yeah. to take in I, right I now. Just, I just <laughs> follow him, I guess. So what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go. Okay. 
both of you are heading out. You have a really fast moving speed, and you can double dash. So I imagine you guys get there before he does. Because he still can only walk, like, you know, as fast as little feet can take. Uh, so when you get to Amadrius' house, what do you do? And you told Wedge to warn me, right? Yeah. And then she's going to whip out... Um, do you guys just burst in through the front door? Do you guys go in through the back? Like, what do you guys I do? go behind <laughs> him on purpose. You just kind of sidle in behind him? Yeah. She's going to whip out what Lux's card. Do? Um, do you start tailing him as well, or do you just go straight to the house? I'm going to tail him too, because... Yeah, okay. So you guys you guys start tailing him. I'm going to have both of you roll stealth checks, and I'll roll mine for you for you. Like, oh, there's, no, these guys are done. there's no way no, I could fail this one. Oh, yeah. 27. Oh, that's awesome. Give, I Buford, love 27. Uh, that's a yeah. great number. Hmm? I'm giving Buford guidance. Okay, you want to roll that d4? Three. All right. That's much better. What you get? What's in your one? A vampire guy. <laughs> That's in my. I ever learned a lot of dead things. <laughs> 28. 28. 28. <laughs> 27 and 16. I guess we. They all still. So you guys fall in behind Elazar, who doesn't seem to really take notice of you as he just is heading straight for the Key Loran household. And you take out Lux's card and you flick him out. I like. I'm gonna go over to the shed, so we're a little bit more shed, you know. Shed centric. And I flip it out. I go. Shh, shh, so you shh. merely. I go. Shh. Shh. <laughs> and she goes. She goes. Elazar is coming, right now to this Excellent. house. So we better hurry. I'm not dumping these cards <laughs> while Elazar is in the house. Oh no no no. Just give me all the cards, and I will no. take care of the rest of it. Just imagining Lux, no. like you guys are fighting in the key of my house. Lux is she says back. no, and she starts walking. Tell, I'll wait. Tell him That's I'm fine. A... Well, I guess if she tell dies, it's on your is... deal. Amadrea is in trouble. This whole, Inside. This whole Inside. city is in Inside. trouble. Inside. Check. She goes, this whole I place fail the role. is I don't believe her. It's fine. <laughs> It would have been She's even like, funnier if you do got you want to go button. back in the cards because you're a complete lump, or do you want to help? Just put Elazar in the card. We will have this conversation later. <laughs> it takes, it takes a save. And we were done so, with that conversation. That's fine. They said we would come. You will hand me those cards. I'm not saying yes. Let's go. Very put well. Put all the people we don't like into those cards. Yes. It takes a save. Still. Including so immediately, as you guys that. are kind of talking, like, like we have a way of fixing it, all of a sudden, Wedge pops out of your pocket and says something loud, which causes her invisibility to go away. Jeez! So you see the imp form come pops out of your pocket. We have a problem! <laughs> and your mom is being to go, Oh, Lord! And your dad's like, What did you do? You're covered in, in house? brownies! <laughs> and she's just like, <laughs> And she's just like, I'll explain later. Your dad, your dad immediately like pulls no. up a hand. <laughs> Blast him. <laughs> Kills the familiar. Kills his kid. Familiar he's in a her pocket. Familiar of a friend. She goes, what? We have some guy heading in. Elazar. I told her to tell him that. Uh, is she, she said his name is Elizar. Elizar. Yeah, you're screwed. Um, she says, yeah, be ready. Elizabeth's coming. Hide mom and dad. Yeah, she says he's on his way. Apparently it sounds pretty bad. She says, hide mom and dad. <sighs> Lux isn't going to help. help. Your well, mom I'm going to help. Like, <laughs> Elizabeth. No, he's very much alive. <laughs> so it's for you. He was for the dead. <laughs> you can argue about his death to his face in just five minutes. <laughs> just less than five minutes, he's gonna be in your living room. But, <laughs> but he's sorry, he coming. now works for Lord Moines. But that's not important right now because. I think it sounds important. <laughs> what Would you like me to explain while we all die? <laughs> I'm so On glad he knocked. Door. <laughs> Somebody's knocking. That yes, door is knocks. dead. Can, can I? Can I hear the door? That door is gone. <laughs> You're in can the I backyard. Are we yeah, we're, we're in the backyard. Walking we're, in, we're, right? we're walking up. Yeah. Can so I hear the door knock? So you guys immediately go through the Arcadia door. The dad immediately... <laughs> dad! 
Jeez, this guy's a hazard. I open the door. <laughs> he needs to be in the card. <laughs> I go straight to the there front door. There are two door. clerics. <laughs> he needs to be I in the card. This, this guy might be a problem. I think guys. I might be addicted to these cards. <laughs> I can stop whenever I want, just scratching at your neck, <laughs> scratching the card. Nineteen. Okay. Oh, so you mean your dad's like, he sees the vampire. Oh, he looks like a dude. He just looks like a dude. He's right got now. extremely pale skin, and I'm assuming you have weird color eyes. Yeah. What color <laughs> are your eyes? Uh, I would imagine that they would have been like red in the beginning, but now they're turning gold at this point. He's, so they're yellow. He's, so they're almost, like amber, yeah. He's almost, like he's amber. almost like so amber. So he's really deathly pale Sparkly. with yellow eyes. So I'm oh, and I'm running in myself. He's jaundiced. Or to a werewolf as I'm walking straight towards the front door. And Immediately the dad's like, Dead. And, you're, right. and you say, they're, they're, and then he sees the Molotrod's uh, excisor behind her. He, he worships the god. <laughs> and she's a friend of Zas' friend. Long story. Who are you picking up in your life? <laughs> okay, blame Says her on Zas. She's a guy. She's a blame her on Zas. Open the door. She you open the door and you come face to face with Elizabeth. She's like, like, like grab hey, him and she's throw like, hey, him dad. Him <laughs> to the ground. Oh he too looks at, da- at her dad and goes, hey, dad, you may want to focus. <laughs> uh, strength checks. Okay. Excellent. You may want to focus. I have advantage on strength. Go to see. Woohoo. Uh, that is a total of. Uh, 29. Jesus. Oh, Does man, I was 28? close, too! Oh, <laughs> freaking! <laughs> Woo! 26! That's close. Yeah! Oh. You grab him by the. By the by he like puts you on the ground. The, <laughs> you grab him by, like, the at least get him into You're the like room. Nails dig into, the, into his, like, chest. And you Ew. go to chuck him. And you hear, like, everyone else who can see, like, the full thing of Elazar, see his, like, wooden parts of him jet into the ground and root him uh, to the ground. Oh, what a loser. Stopping him from being thrown. Oh, and yeah. And immediately you go to pull, and he kind of does the reverse. <laughs> That's okay. My hands are still on. And he them. throws you against the side of the wall. This house is going to be My hands destroyed. are already uh, sliced, the, and I set him, him on fire. You're in him. Yeah. Because you weren't sliced before. I would have sliced my hands as I came into the room. I'm like ready. I'm turning myself into a werewolf. He was going to do that with me. <laughs> He's I'm, about to I'm, I'm like, not allow I am that. all ready to go. I'm not going to allow that right uh, now. Because the first thing you said is that you're grappling it. You open the door uh, and grab it. That was specifically what you said you did first. And she, she's going to get between everyone else and just go, What do you want? Uh... I'm trying to think of what he would do in this situation. I bite might... my hand. Which dude? <laughs> He's gnawing off his arm. Oh my Don't gosh. take it off. <laughs> and what he's going to do? Because he's going to get to do something at the same time that you are. He's distracted. He's talking to her. He hasn't talked to her yet. Talk louder. <laughs> Expose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're only in a robe. I I like to free the genie. Just (laughs) anytime now. This is what she's wearing. That is not a robe. Oh, okay. She's wearing a different dress. Her dress was a little bit more revealing before. Revealing. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Continuing. Question: Would it be likely for her to wear her sleeveless? Studded leather armor underneath this like Ooh, she's baggy shirt. Oh. I'm trying to keep my hit points just in case. Or my I would wear it. You didn't say that you did, so I no. I would have worn it. Your armor's just somewhere in the wilderness. No, it's, I'm yeah. assuming it's that you gave pocket. it to the person who was going into a card. Justice Probably. Now. Oh hey, oh, Justice now. No, well, no I, I have so my gear. Lux is then. I'm gonna have I you just make put the another. Cloak on. Um, athletics saving throw Lux. Athletics? Yes. Athletics check. You choose now to be modest. <laughs> I'm magic, sorry, but you like stolen. her to be crucified. <laughs> 23. 23. So you do beat him, so he doesn't chuck you across the room. Excellent. Instead, he goes to throw you, and he just releases the grapple, and you kind of just land, ready, like... 
like in that kind of crouch where you're like, can you know, like full Wolverine style? <laughs> nice. Like five I, feet away from him. I dig my hands into my own uh, palms and I light them on fire. That's awesome. We're in a forest. <laughs> For now. <laughs> it's going to be a new environment. It was. <laughs> he immediately goes, and Elazar, so if we're, if you guys are going to attack him anymore, we're going to roll initiative, but he does get to say one thing before that. Really? Right, Where is she? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Oh, oh, just be quiet. We all and be quiet. Are you guys going to attack him still? Think banana. <laughs> we have her in a card. Shut up! Uh, Stop is so putting in Stop the empty throwing me in the box. Okay, I answered first. <laughs> Stop throwing me in the box. So, who? And we put her in her car. Those are the two in in initial. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know I have him, so. And him and Elazar is kind of standing there in the doorway after being accosted by the werewolf <laughs> and then throwing him back into the room. He says this without kind of taking full stock of the room, and he realizes that you're right there. The last time and he goes, were... "Where is it?" I don't know what you're talking about. Where's the seed? Eat uh, it. Huh. No clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Show it to me, or I will burn this place down. Why? Why are you doing that? Don't oh, worry, we're going to do grow that. Larger. We are famous for burning things down, so <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> no, if I see it down on the first. table. Oh, jeez. I know, she had imp, it in her, imp. In oh, her imp. hand and put oh, it in her you pocket. Had, you did have it in your hand. And she probably put That's it in her pocket. What seed? That's what you're trying to slide a pan. The seed. Oh, it's in her hand. Yeah, it's in the house. Yeah. No, you can't. You no. Sure you're not Elazar is in the doorway. No. You can't slide your hand something off of Elazar if you want. Ooh, oh, do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what does he have? His match doesn't matter. <laughs> Take everything. What? The only thing should be left is his Hold on. hopes okay. and dreams. Just take everything else. <laughs> take away. Take and all the we'll eyes. And then we'll take away the rest. Everything. Do I take a little time? Slide of hand and legs, give him a wish. You grab the end and jump. Oh my gosh. I have. I can pick things up with sticks. Oh my gosh. Super witchy. He's now stunned until the end of his next turn. Oh my gosh. What is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where is it? Oh! <laughs> I found it. <laughs> it has been planted. <laughs> it has been planted. <laughs> we planted the seed! Oh my god! No! no. Oh. no. oh my gosh, that was a lot. No. <laughs> that was no. a lot. Abort! Abort! Oh, that was a visual abort. letter. Thank you very much for that one. <laughs> okay. You have your order. Oh, go. oh gosh, what are you? What are you doing? Plant the seed. Plant the seed. The tree has arrived. Plant it. You want to pipe that out? I didn't do it. I'm just encouraging it. <laughs> I'm not surprised at this point, though. I didn't start it, but I will be here for it. But I will definitely be here for it. I'm gonna spank you later, by the way. <laughs> How dare you do that? <laughs> <laughs> but, All right. but, I, but I won't do it if you get a natural 20. <laughs> you get a critical, we're gonna have problems. You critically plant this seed. I'm not nothing but, but pride. Okay, oh, what God. you doing? What you doing, oh, Joey? God. Um, holy crap. Oh, the back of my head hurts. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have Admiral on me. You let Lux out of the car for five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I kind of oh, want to. I'm questioning my origins. <laughs> <laughs> questioning I'm questioning my many, many things. Holy crap. All right, what are you doing? Just steal whatever you can. Just yeah. take whatever I'm, you can. I'm taking oh, everything that I can. Wedgie. Starting with the most bad. Let's sleight of hand. Yeah. Oh. I was so excited about the massive of wedgie. Check. Okay. Preferably his weapons. Yeah, I got pretty much pretty good. So. 29. 29. You'll definitely take something. That's right. Good Planted job. something. You could have planted that, that seed. Is the expertise. Holy crap. You don't hysterical. think you can get anything like major off of his belt? 
So like you can't you take, take like belt. his sword. <laughs> so you take the belt. <laughs> so you can't like take his You deep pants <laughs> him! <laughs> <laughs> Where is the seed? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's like so, a bad dream. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody cover me. <laughs> Somebody covers her mom's <laughs> eyes. Oh my god. The problem is, I'm Sarah here. And I know Elazar. So many pants. And he's just gonna go. I see no problem. <laughs> Like his drawers. <laughs> you know those times oh, where like you're doing my. like that shimmy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you're entangled. Okay, what by is your it you take? Is... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh god. it's difficult to read. Yeah, yeah. Right. So what is, what is he get? Ten you, feet you know, closer. Oh, so, oh, um, <laughs> they'll be what prone. Did you say? So, you don't think you can take anything major off of him? Like you can't take his sword. You can't take. Like, you can't, like, remove, like, his cape or something. Like, you're, Why like, would you remove you're sitting there and you're, like, gosh, what does this guy have? Deep and you hands. just immediately, like, <laughs> see this, like, small bag that he keeps on his, on, like, his back. On, like, his back, like, like, it's like a fanny pack that he has. You immediately just go, oh, and take the entire pack. Oh, man. He took his fanny pack. Does his pants fall down? That's way no, less than, uh, <laughs> what we had planned, son. <laughs> He means Why does just take his entire that? pack? Do you now have a pack? I'm so glad I did that. What's in the pack? Change, some, uh, some... He starts going through the pack right there. <laughs> right in my, front of my him. My compatriots are just they're having a problem here. <laughs> like I'm right gonna make sure he's got his granola wallet bar. Inside. <laughs> <laughs> wallet inside. <laughs> you have a Disney pass in here? Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you really shouldn't keep your ATM and your social security together, guys. <laughs> this is not responsible. <laughs> Someone could take this. <laughs> I <laughs> like those, you know, those two dollar bills that everyone thinks are counterfeit. You're like, I can't spend this, but it's really cool. <laughs> ID theft is but, real. So you just go up and you take this entire bag off of his, off of him. And he feels much you lighter. You take this entire bag. And he's so caught up in something else that he doesn't even care. He doesn't even see. He could go oh. back for seconds. Oh yeah. And um. meanwhile, in the room, oh my God. what was the question that you asked? So. You have where is she? Seat. Yeah, I have it. I have it. I'm pretty sure she would have put it in her pocket. She With still which? Just like other pocket. Okay. Ah. Swallow. There's something on the floor. It bit me. It's, How big is this seed? It's a back Is it like a seed seed? Is it the size of a pecan? You can so swallow, swallow that. So swallowing it would hurt. <laughs> I was gonna go through. That would get lodged. But somewhere. he wouldn't get it back. It would be planted. <laughs> I plant this. God damn it. Huh? <laughs> it's like your like the old huh? stories of watermelon seed. <laughs> but what was the question you asked? You asked like where. Is, where is she? Where is the no? Where, where is the seed? It was where the seed. Where is she? Where is it? The seed. Give it to me. Give it to me, or I will burn this entire place down. Agreed. Oh, can I take all of his clothes? What? No. You're, Dang it! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not saying oh my god because you said like I'm saying oh my god because I'm like whoa. <laughs> um. Um, yeah. She has it. Shut no. up! He can see it. You're killing me. Dinner cards. Dinner cards. It's in my pocket. Oh, I have it. Dinner cards. Would you? What kind of butt munch? Take it out. <laughs> Why don't you take some things out? <laughs> Why is the seed so important? Give it to me. Why? She's gonna scold you. And he just goes, I'm not asking a second time. Give it to me now. Uh, why don't you just leave? And he draws his sword. He says, give, give it to me. Who's asking? Or, who's asking Oberon or Mordmoins? 
Believe it or not, neither. Give it to me now. Lux is about to do something stupid again. She's a wedgie. Grab the seed. Use your cord. Use the empty cord. Give him the empty cord. Here it is. Oh, you want me to zap? Boom! Him? He's got a saving throw. She doesn't I was matter. She'd have some time to maybe talk to you about. It. Nope. She <laughs> let him recover a little bit. Nope. She takes it and she she pops in her mouth and falls. Whoa! That's my girl! And you can make me a dexterity Oh, he's gonna... A, a dex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as he does it, I throw, I run. As he oh. sh- sits, spits out a thorn whip out of his hand. Uh, rub, blah, 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 I was blah, like, blah, your blah, intestines blah. need to make a dex save. <laughs> you got little lamps. Does your intestines need to make a dex save? Mm-hmm. A, uh, um, Curse of the Eyeless. Remove four from whatever attack you're doing. Oh, hey, uh, are we... Uh, I, I need something animation? to help me with a dex save. Oh, you get? or better yet, I can do I'm currently at an eight. Oh, jeez, yeah, you need to girl. Isn't a, is it thorn whip a, a, to hit? Yes. So a negative four to whatever it is to hit. Yeah. This is to see if she moves faster than him. Oh. Um, I do. Yeah, she, she gives you. As he's sitting in the back, looking <laughs> in the back. I was like, like, man, he's got some nice stuff here. What's that? Even the good granola bars. Oh, 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 oh. He's a Costco <laughs> member? Damn. <laughs> yeah. oh, Have I rolled there. in that one? No. Nope. Did you just do it now? Yes. Yes, I she five. did. I rolled a five and I have so a five. So he definitely goes before. Yeah, whatever it is, and remove four from it. Yep. So he definitely goes before you. Mm-hmm. You want to roll the d4? Never I did. Four. I four. So he has removed four from whatever his attack so roll 28. is. 28. So 24. 24. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought that, that was a 24 hit you. Like, uh-huh. He has a 32 I don't know. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Does it hit the little seed? The little yeah. seed's AC is like 90. <laughs> it's a seed. It would, it would have hit me even if I had my armor. Yeah. Well, he's trying to hit the is, seed? Yeah. And what is your AC? 13. He has to beat. She's got to choke thought down is a he pie. has disadvantage, and he has to be your AC. It's not tough for most people. Do you want me to roll this out there? I feel like it's, this is something I should roll out. It's not, it's usually... I would have attacked him if he showed any more aggression. You did Curse of the Alice instead. You did. Fuck! I did. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, we're gonna roll this out here. (laughs) He has a plus nine to his spell casting. Oh. So he's a four? He's a. He has disadvantage and he has minus four. Minus four. So he needs needs an eight eight. or higher. Uh, And he has disadvantage, that means he takes the lower roll. Here, you use this crappy dice. Uh, okay. No, I'm using this one. Actually, Hold on, no, guys. Whose dice have been really shitty so far? Where's yours? This one. Oh, I got this one. This one. Here you go. There but they'll you go. be great for other people. You know that's what? how it works. I will use a dice. Where are those nice ones? Where's the death saving <laughs> dice? Why are all your dice on one? Actually, no, not this one. Uh, here you go. That's Lucas. the exact opposite. Be <laughs> 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 gone. Marshmallow dice. I can't it's use that one. It's a common number. Really that one was rolling really well for me. Yeah, that is too heavy for me. No, that's what we all want. A one? For him? For him? Yeah, but not for yourself. Oh, yeah. Of course. All right. I saw that. You, you got the up. first one. <laughs> Five! So we lost. Doesn't matter. Yep. Yeah! Woohoo! Me. My girl swallows the pill. So you... <laughs> Finally! That's right. Which probably should have been earlier in life. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> huh? My mother, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> None. I'm just... Yeah. Is okay. everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at my Obviously keep not. Going. What is wrong? Not. Like, he didn't even act like this keep before going, Keep going, keep <laughs> going. So, sensing that El- no, you realizing that Elazar works for the enemy. Yes. That's right. We know that. Wor- he Two works of for, them. He works for Kallik. He works for Oberon. He works for Mormoids. Everyone he, in your every life enemy. who is a villain in your life, this guy is a connected to. And he, and he cheats comes, on his taxes! 
and, he, <laughs> and he starts demanding and he doesn't pay child support. He child support. Oh, oh, support. Dang it. And you're just like, clearly if this guy wants it, something's gotta be up. So you immediately right. down this. He lashes out. S- several things go off all at once. You see his eyes begin to spill um, white sap from his, as as he as he has no blood in his body as he's part tree. What a loser! <laughs> and he bl- he's blinded for a second. You stop it! You stop it! <laughs> I see your face. I don't do Today's session of D and D has been edited in China. <laughs> I can't believe I got that reference. Well done. Well done. That was a good reference. (laughs) Oh gosh, that was good. That was that was very layered. But um, that was layered. He like he's blind and he lashes out and he just passes right by your face as you swallow the sea. Heck yeah. (laughs) Good job. So proud of you. (laughs) I need some more water. We need another <laughs> word for this. There is another word, but you it's don't want me to say it. Because that will only make things worse. You swallowed it. It's okay. That's all right. And we're proud. It's okay. We're proud. You can't get to it. a seed or a nut. <laughs> okay, let's not use that one, because that one almost cost, us, cost us technology. You guys have done uh, this to me. It's just good job. cool. <laughs> This is, if you're a DM... Either way, man, it's down. Get seeds. <laughs> All the way. things are seeds. Don't hey. use them. <laughs> he can't get to it now. He can't get to well, it. He can't get dissector. to it. Well, he could get to it, but at that point it wouldn't matter. I need you. You he are was, so wrong on so many To make me a constitution saving <laughs> I'm sorry. But She's going to do a constitution? He, she might throw up. You know, it's kind of... No, because it's now starting to take effect. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Starting to grow trees. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Wait, wait. What is this I, thing doing again? It I wasn't paying attention. The, it binds her to the tree. She, guys. the way it's she was thinking you. about it is, it makes it would essentially do to her what Elzar currently is. You're gonna be a tree. Tree, tree woman. Wouldn't that make you stronger? That's still though? awesome. It, it would bind me to you. To who? The you. tree her guy tree, in the backyard. Her dryad. My dryad. My dryad that we saved. You could that I saved. <laughs> The one in the backyard I've been talking yeah, yeah, he seemed like a good guy. You guys in uh, you can short for this eucalyptus. The eucalyptus tree. Oh, okay. That you have sense. no <laughs> idea what the ritual was to do this. It was no. swallow the seed. You just swallowed it. Yeah, so you couldn't get it. That's okay. So you have no idea what's going to happen. Do you know that seed's been oh, leaking a no. stomach of a You don't lot. know <laughs> if this needed to be attuned well, I hope it gets to uke before. Like maybe it just <laughs> disappeared. It's all right. It's okay. And we're going. We are you, doing. What did you get on your constitution? Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, that's Make good. the first save. Good job. What does she takes feel as she's doing this? Six rounds to go through. <laughs> you're gonna pass it six <laughs> rounds. That's one hell of a scene. Take six <laughs> rounds. <laughs> Nothing right now. It's like cord. I've never passed a seed in more than six rounds. Like right now. Like, what, like three seconds? Just saying right now. Woo! <laughs> that is one spicy meatball. I've done it right now. Oh Nine <laughs> seconds. And she Woo! just excuses herself. Your intestines are going to be like, whoa! <laughs> Fire in the hole! Half a minute, everyone. A little bit more than half a minute. Oh, man. Mama, I hope okay, you so what, what is she actually feeling in this moment? Like, So, we're going to start initiative now. Oh, okay, great. Now He's ignoring the conversation. Because we're not... Ah! Damn it. 23. Okay, I just want you to look at that. <laughs> I'm going to get a 23 as well. Well, I'm letting you know, Elazar is not dexterous. This entire thing is strength. So... <laughs> well... Does he beat a nine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nine. So I got a nine. In the area. Oh, my fault. I'm just letting yeah, you know. In an area. So that way, Here it comes. keep you up on it. Okay. Oh, and then the one boy. time we're uh, playing Warlock without hats. What's the cards? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm? What's the initiative cards? We're, yeah, we're doing the initiative cards. But you got to roll know. the initiative you roll cards. For first. And you loaded your Ooh, dice. Oh, that's good. What's uh, your plus? 23, 23. <clears throat> 21. Nice. 
You guys are all like. Elazar. We want. We want our tree. We want our tree to, 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 to be okay. <laughs> I'm going dead last. Are you serious? <laughs> what did you get? You're in the front. Nine. You got right not over I'm you. I'm right in front of him. <laughs> He's moving over us. Who has higher decks? Huh? You know those times He's when like you're like you're like twenty. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, yeah. At the light, you're really paying attention to it. And then all of a sudden it turns to me and it takes like a second for your mind to like remember what going on. Everybody's is. passing. And everyone else is going. You're, you're like, like, oh shit! And you just ran on the gas. <laughs> Give this to Ian. Oh man. And all of a sudden you're like, so how many rounds you gotta like uh, pass this seat again? Well, this is the start. So after this, she has five. So five. Don't five pass rounds. the. Are you spo- is she not supposed to pass yeah, the seat? You don't know. Crap, we don't know it's if it's like a decision. good thing or a bad thing to pass this seed. It's clench. <laughs> clench? Don't clench. No, don't clench. If it's coming out that fast, you never clench. Oh, right. Clench. It'll I'll just you right now. It'll just back No, back. no, no. <laughs> It'll blow your butt off. <laughs> <laughs> she just needs to clench until it's, until it's fun. You know, until it sprouts? What? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> what has happened? All of a sudden she's like... <laughs> I didn't wear the right pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's not you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I also threw off your pants. Dishonor! Hey, you better keep your, your eyes on me! <laughs> Dishonor on my cat! <laughs> Funding for Tom's planned approach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is why. Oh my god! Tom! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you just gotta do that. Like a weapon. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously, don't clinch. <laughs> I think clenching would be a good idea. Let it idea. go. Oh my god. Sp- having the little sprout attached. It- oh my god. I mean, you gotta stop. I was having a mouthful of water. I almost got all over the stuff. That's what happened. Stop. You, and you would have been mad. When you said oh. none, we almost lost the technology. <laughs> I understand. Chips, honey. Aww. We need these chips. Okay. What's Buford's deck? I don't like oh, oh, yeah, oh, the Oh, the guy's there. Oh, he's going on my turn. Oh, yeah. That's right, the dogs are. Oh, He's going on your turn. God. And all the imps go with me, right? Uh-huh. Okay, thank God. I don't want to roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a medium issue, all of a sudden. <laughs> and I have three that are currently with me. Oh, four. Well, oh, yeah, no, because <laughs> Fry's out of touch. Okay. He's not uh, dead, but he's out of touch. Okay. Who's going first? Maharas! Oh man, fry him! <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> He's resisted yeah, to the plane. <laughs> oh, room, right? Yeah, we're in the middle of this people's house. <laughs> that's really, oh. Yeah, of my family home. Let's it's, take it. No, oh, it's all gone now. Well beyond oh, that. That's it. Well, you brought my house to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you knocked the door, it was I, all over. <laughs> I told you, I said, you know, the freak speech was free action. I did say, shit. we are famous for burning <laughs> right. everything oh, down. Yeah, yeah, we're we're trying to ever... save the shed. <laughs> um, actually, I would be back a little bit, at least a little bit, because he threw me. You're behind him. So Where's he? Is there a second level? <laughs> no, that's the shed. Wow, that's a little too close to the house. <laughs> well, these are the maps that Tom this has. This is not the regulation. <laughs> no. <laughs> is that up to code? Ah, we're gonna use this guy. This Holy is NTS. Sh- I got it. Ta-da! He's kind of a big dude, right? Oh yeah. There you go. Got him. Oh, great. Turned him into a monster. Oh heck yeah, that's good. He's big. He's a big guy. It's probably it's a big dude for a second feet. form. From a living for a living. Where are you? Fifty feet. I'm good. between him and my parents and Keith too. What is this? In front of your dad? <laughs> yeah, he was in front of. Now's your chance. Dad. I mean, you can remember like... she. <laughs> okay, despite her relationship with her parents, she does love them and she knows they love her. So they're not All right, fodder, I everybody. Guess. They are not fodder. fodder. AoE attacks should not be centered. I was came in with you. 
And where are you? We're coming in I'm thought from the in, back. Uh, yeah, we came in through the door. Yeah, through here, we came so. in through here, but you're Mer close to the Can monster. Mm -hmm. yeah, are, yeah. Is that you? Okay. No, that's him. Okay, so you were right. Is, was that the su uh, Minecraft chicken sound effect? Is this magic? Okay, yeah. so is this Carly? Yes. yes. And this is you? Mm -hmm. And this is the other two. Okay, so I came in and I would have rushed up. So I'm, I actually, I wouldn't have rushed up because I'm trying to, really I'm far? trying to be smart. So I'll be right there. Right here? Okay. Got misses. And I have an imp in her pocket and I have an imp on his shoulder and I have an imp. So I have he takes one with me. Were your imps. five psychic damage oh, yeah. and gets this terrible, like, sense of vertigo. And he, uh, is. Oh, what was missing? He has uh, subtracting 1d4. From his next saving throw, and yeah. And then this guy's looking. Mind slipper. Oh, shoestring. Who is shoestring? Yes. Yeah. I think that's it. Oh. Fry is gone. Wedge. I'm gonna have to Fry roll that. When wedges with. Oh, wedges with Carly. That sounds good. Because you were with me. <clears throat> okay. So, as all of a sudden this these whole things kick off, all of a sudden you see Elazar's face go. Mm. Oh, that's dead. What happens? And you see Solus, and you see like uh, Malharos and Buford in the background behind him. Okay, who's next? Uh, Kate too. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> She's going to, of course. Oh wait. She she wasn't planning at all. I'm oh. terribly sorry. Um. Yeah, she's gonna elder glass through, um, I'm sorry, guys. through shoestring because he's behind him. Okay. And she's going to. Does she get two? I can't remember. Um. Well, you're level five. I think you do get two right now. Okay. I believe so as well. <clears throat> so I have to roll right. <laughs> so that. And how it. close? Because shoestring is on. On him. On so him, he's and right he's here. within melee range. Yeah. So that means you get disadvantage on the attack. Really? On a ranged attack at melee range, yes. Okay, well maybe I'll change it. Because Carly is not in melee range, right? No. Neither are you. And neither am I, so, well, then I can uh, just cast Do we need them, minis so. for my <clears throat> Okay. Yes. So, I'm going to hit... I got it. I'm going to hit it through, um... Well, I can hit him through both, but... Like two. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because he's he's still getting hit by them. I got a twenty and a dirty twenty. Twenty and a dirty twenty. What do those hit? So the tw do I get all the perks with the twenty? Like four, you got a natural twenty? Yeah, I got a natural twenty. Yeah. yeah. On my, and then I got a dirty. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. It's some sort of Minecraft chicken sound. Birds. Okay, so ten oh, through the air vent. What? No, your no, right music here. was playing the bird. Oh, it's, it's nighttime. The birds don't. <laughs> birds are talking about the birds in the. <laughs> I'm like sitting here. Are there the birds in the air vent? Going through like their <laughs> house where like we heard the pigeons cooing through the chimney. The chimney. They <laughs> chimney. So that would be 27 combined hit points damage of fire. Do I need to do anything else yeah. for myself, or is casting through somebody else okay? You just cast through yourself, right? Well, I cast through. Oh yes, you do. You can roll me a Constitution save. Oh. <laughs> it's not good. That is okay. You know what? I always fail when I do constitution saving throws. I, it really sucks. I get a five. <laughs> five. I do I get you. additional hit points? Hmm? Do we, I do additional hit points because I'm a freak? No. You uh, need to roll me, I think it's a d6. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend that you did you see the same? <laughs> All right. What did you get? Um, I re-rolled and got a six. <laughs> Why'd you re-roll? Because I didn't get a didn't get a re, didn't get a six. <laughs> well, why would you want? Okay, a six? so I get a one. Never mind. I don't even one. know what it is. Okay. I won't do anything. Who's next? It's uh, three. Who's three. Okay, that's me, guys. Okay, so I'm right behind him. Can I like? 
Sneak attack him? Yes, because he doesn't know that you're there. Okay, so... Oh, you have a friend sitting right there, too, so he gets... <clears throat> that is true! You have you shoestring extra, you, have, you have shoestring with you, so you get a Let's bonus. See. Okay, so I'm gonna... You, does a... Ooh, Let's throw 20. all the crazy into this one fight. Yeah. <laughs> Does a 26 hit? Yes. Oh, I okay. would love to I say that. I was there for a second. <laughs> okay, so we get... You got a one? Huh? Me, yes. I got a one. What? Where's my... Okay. All of a sudden, as you're, st as you're stabbing him, you look into the room and you see Kitsu's... You see Kitsu. Who, as you cast your spell, you feel this burning sensation in your eyes. Me? That's always and her, me. Her. Where you sit there and you're like, you wink it out and then you open your eyes again and you're like, oh, it's gone. And everyone else sees Keech's eyes have burst into flame and are flaring out into the room. Oh. The house is on fire. As was promised. By two, as was promised. By two out of, by the two party. Out of all the party. Two Seven people did people. say we would burn them now, out. What is, uh, 26, you <laughs> I did say we were famous. And the last time we burned out of house. Okay, so sneak attack does... I will help you rebuild. 3 Yes. Okay, so one, two, three. Nice is it 3 plus you my original one? It's 3d6 plus your whatever damage your weapon does. Okay, so... Uh, see, I was a bit Ten, eighteen damage. <laughs> eighteen damage. So you run up and you stab him right in the cheek. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> stab him in the cheek, as in just butt. Like, ah! <laughs> yep, as in bottom. <laughs> this whip has really good stabbing ability. Oh, you so whipped whip. him. It's a whip. Those hurt a lot. Have you been so you like the crack it like I close have. range mm -hmm. on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ian has some. Ian has some really good experience with getting hit with a whip. Oh, God. He does. He whipped himself many, many times. Oh, yourself? I thought uh, it I was just like that. better Lucas. <laughs> no, he he hit himself. I'm practicing. I said himself. I didn't leave to it all for all the people on the internet that will see you. This. He picked I'm his own sorry. switch, <laughs> and he chose a whip. <laughs> There's I chose swords. <laughs> yes, and you broke things. The and other end, one on one combat. <laughs> Fight. All right. Who's anyway, next? I'm not three. Uh, Solus me, or did Solus go? Yes. Yeah. He, yeah. Did. He, he stabbed him. In he gave him a big old stab. That's One thousand me. years of death. Um. Oh, All right. The, 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 the seed was planted. Stop it! He tilled the soil. I. <laughs> wow. Wow. I was just saying that she swallowed the thing, so it's kind of planted already. I no. thought you were talking You're about soil. Like, You're like, <laughs> it's. Yeah, you tilled the soil. I wow. thought you were talking about soil. <laughs> he plowed. Oh, tilling. <laughs> <laughs> he plowed a roll. Oh. You have to go. I gotta do your thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> dramatic effect. That was dramatic. Like it was. That. Oh yeah, you gotta leave your constitution save. Yes. Oh. Before you even take your turn. You okay, we haven't decided whether it's turn. like a good idea to keep it in or. You gotta keep it in. Let it pass. You let it pass. No, man. you, you keep it, it in because I... the bad guy. You need to get a fifteen. The bad guy wants it. You don't drop it on the floor. Well, it's not gonna necessarily drop on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> She's in her dad's house. She's modestly. Is guidance garment. a reaction? <laughs> it's gonna oh. go in her. It's gonna go in her back pretty pocket. Pretty cool, <laughs> Maybe when they replace all the spells <laughs> on D&D <D> Beyond. <laughs> oh man, wow. let's just what you get. I got an eleven. All right. So you're doing you're doing saving throws, right? So yeah, I failed. As for throw. this turn, right. we don't know what's happening. Get out some Talking's a free action, though, right? If you can talk. Oh, you just, what was it, a, like a peach pit? Is that what he said? But this big is about the size of a pecan. That's a giant Jesus. pecan. A pecan Think about it like an avocado seed. Wow. 
Okay, hey, man, have a I'd be making walnut. cone saves too. <laughs> not her first time. That's exactly why. <laughs> I did not say it. I did not say it. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I said nothing. I just sat here and I thought things and I said nothing else. Thank you, Lord. You're going to have to go back on the I tell you, Lord, I'm just glad I did We were connected and the words came out of his mouth. It was like a puppet. Technically, it was at your mother-in-law's fault. I'm like, that's what the wow is for. That's. I'm always amazed at our the talent that our party has that brings us to the table. This is the second round. Of this, which means I am rolling two d8 for what? For what? bailing my con save. You failed the con save. She just con 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 <laughs> so as you swallow this, the first one you I would feel have it, a the first with this. time you swallow it, you feel it go down, and then you feel it like set, and you feel it like just take residence. Do you have a oh, like no. create water? The second or time is you're sitting there and you're like. Okay, I can get through this, and all of a sudden oh, yeah, you feel right. it, you feel this sharp burst of pain cool. in your chest. Went down the wrong I'm... tube. Like something is stabbing in every direction. Let's bring oh. out the healing. <laughs> it's a jalapeno. You take seven hit points of damage. Oh, seven's not bad. You know, if you don't like chew, like it doesn't, if the jalapeno doesn't pop on the way in. Okay. It, it pops on the so, way out. So it just. Here. <laughs> <laughs> just want to point I... that out. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> I, I'm talking to you all. Okay. We're here. Does anyone else have temp hit points in their thing? I, I do. Think... Okay. So we ate pastries before this guy. Yeah. Awesome. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> Those she wanted, pastries she might wanted to make sure. Butt. She wanted to make sure she had a nice base. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I didn't say it. Not me. I didn't do it. Not it. However, uh, you feel this sharp <laughs> bit of pain as you feel stabbing from inside of you. You feel your. You gotta stop. I'm sorry, so stop. stop. We're gonna get nothing done if you don't stop. You feel this stabbing pain, and it, you, and you, it debilitates you. And you're unable to take actions or bonus actions this round. Holy shit. But I can take free actions? No. Because you can't pain. Speak. <laughs> because your airway is blocked. Crap. No worries. Your dad is right there. My mom is also a cleric. I also have a hand across you know. I'm not upset with you. As you're far as you know. As far as you know. I grew up with her! It doesn't mean you understand what they're going, what they do. Stop, stop with these freaking mind games. I'm tired. <laughs> God, Who's no next? I'm tired. I got you. I got you. It's uh, him. Elazar. Elazar. Oh, good grief. So now Crap. Elazar, he has disadvantage on saves. Mm -hmm. And as of right now, it's moving to zero. Lux. Nice. The light screen. <clears throat> Push the gas pedal. <laughs> So technically, he's just sitting there. Yeah. Is he within five feet of me? Yeah, he's within five feet of me. Uh, I would no, say so. Wait, wait, don't move yet. He is going to bonus action release the roots that are currently blocking him to the floor. Mm -hmm. That's why. Good first move. And <laughs> seeping was his first move. He's going to release another thorn whip at you. And he hits. Uh, Curse of the Eyeless. Okay. That means it's D4. Uh, take away three. Take away three. Uh, he still has... Doing my best to save you, girl. Uh... Does she get advantage because she has a friend? No. Oh, sorry. You, 16. I don't... Damn. It would have, okay, my armor class with my studded leather is 16, and you told me I don't have my studded leather on, so. You only do that one time. My, my AC's a 13. Then you always just wear your clothes over the top, even if it's hiding a bulge. It's okay. At least you can wear studded leather. So can you! I know I have it, but anyway. I'm just saying that your dress was kind of revealing before. Excuse me? Where's the, where you stuck the leather? <laughs> I mean, 
It is studded. I must have missed something. I must have missed something. You missed. You take eight hit points of damage as he wraps you in a thorn whip and pulls you towards him. Ugh, crap. We're gonna tennis racket you back. And you are pulled ten feet towards him, so you are with him. Yep. Nice. I'm gonna teleport away with you, like Bowser. Oh, stop with the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's his turn. Who's it next? <laughs> it's Lux. you. Look, she needs to bark at him. Bark. Woof woof. Bark him, bark him, Lux. I won't be the elbow. Oh, crap. I won't be the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like... cast Bless on yeah. you, so you can make your saving throws. Well, that's, that's, that's what does plus. that add to my saving throws? That D4. is a D4 to your da- your saving throws. That's my she doesn't get saving credit. throws. Um, I'm going to do your it for myself, throws. and I'm going to do it for Kitsu. <laughs> so we all have uh, saving throws, D4s. Um, that's my action. That is it saving throws and attack rolls? I think it's just saving throws. Plus, it's me right again. On attack rolls or saving throws, you're right. Mm-hmm. Bless is either. Four, either I suggest you one use... D4. One D4. One D4. Oh, um, and so with my bonus, I am going to um, attack. And so I got a natural 20. Good. And so uh, that is nine piercing damage from him clawing the hell out of him. And four is fire damage. So a total of 13. And that's the end of my round. Okay. Who's next? Um, Mathor and Delphine. Oh. Mom and Dad. Okay. Oh, that's kind of funny. Mathor and Dad. Mathor um, is her dad, and Delphine is her mom. Still, it's 7D. Yeah. It's cute. Your mom is going to skip her turn by freaking out. Excellent. Nice. Thanks, Mom. Good job, Helpful. Mom. Helpful. Way to bring it home, Mom. There it is. Grab way, the china and run off the back. Way to remind me I am still the least favorite child. Just grab the china and run off the back hole in the wall. Your dad is going he to destroy this act. house. He's going to be like, if you hadn't followed that lady, I would have helped you. And he would leave. Oh! He's going to make some tea. Smack a doodle. <laughs> He's going to violently boil tea. What could you have brought to this honor? Shame. Shame on your cow. Whichever one that is. This honor. <laughs> your dad beats Elizabeth's AC. Go, Dad. Yay! He might have been a kind of a jerk, but. <laughs> I mean, they're fully integrated in a religious cult. I think it's funny the first thing he says to you is, are you decent? <laughs> okay. That's The funny. last time she showed up was in that dress I started that's, the that's campaign sweet. in. That's great. That's good. Yes. So as you sit there and your mom's kind of like, what's going she has on? A little bit your of dad respect. immediately levels his hand and you see a bolt of divine energy shoot from his hand and hit Elzar square in the face. <laughs> in your face. That's right. <laughs> You know this is guiding bolt. So on the next attack roll, somebody gets advantage. Oh, it would be me. I'm right by him, right? Oh, whoever top, attacks next. Oh, whoever attacks next. Mahara, that would be Maharas. Maharas gets advantage. Yay! We want always him to get advantage. Awesome. <clears throat> no, I don't want to even walk up. Feeling mm-hmm. that's not what you want. This chicken, <laughs> it's it's gonna be Kentucky Fried. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Is there enough room to go in, or is the way kind of too blocked up? As of right now, you can share the same space with uh, Solus, so you can get in there. You can. There's no way to. Alright, here's what's going what's gonna to happen then. It's going to do two Elder Blanche at him. For the first one's with an uh, advantage. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a natural 20. <laughs> Sweet. And then... And then that's a... 20... 
That hits. <clears throat> Twenty force damage, and how much movement does Buford have? Uh, he has forty feet. Gotcha. Okay. Do so you hit twice? How much damage? That was a uh, twenty. Twenty. <clears throat> Any effects on that? Uh, no. Okay. So then it's second. I think that's Kitu. Kitu. She is going to. She's going to. Is it really that time? No, don't think that time. Okay, she's going to do two Eldritch Blasts again because that was very effective. Okay. And I would assume neither of them hit, but um, we're okay. going to go for it. Hold on. Um, plus five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Did you roll your 1d4? You need to roll Oh, I need to roll it. Okay, well, I need four to four, sorry. That didn't, so thirteen for one and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve? Yeah. She's, she's thrilled. They Maybe a little wise. surprised. <laughs> I can try not to hit Amadria. <laughs> they go wide. Third. That's me. Okay. Always roll them one at a time. Did it? I don't think anything happened to me last time, so I'm just gonna do what I did. A sneak attack? Yeah. Go ahead. Roll. Roll to attack. Hmm. It's not this good, but 21. That hits? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I did that wrong. Um, uh, 18. 18. That does not hit. Dang it. That's okay. So, your dagger misses its purchase as you go to stab. And we go with four. Did you make me a concept? Can I use a reaction? Uh, D4. We're doing D4. Yes. For what? Sorry, For I'm him? trying to Cause... find... Two strings with him. Um, is it an attack roll? I can tell shoe string to hit, to attack him. That's not how it works. With a, it says with a reaction, I can command my familiar to attack to make an attack. How do I lose this dice always? It's right in front of my. Fingers. That's one of ten things I can choose. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven things I can choose. Okay. You need I mean, to roll, it's not gonna, roll for an attack. It's not gonna really. I'm, you need to roll for an attack. That's your reaction. I haven't been using. Yeah. Did you get your plus four? Yeah, I rolled a one. Oh, you get your coin back. No, I rolled a one on the d four. <laughs> so did I. That sucked. Um. Uh, is this? We're at, Three. Is this, uh, oh, this is for your thingy. Well, so no one's you, attacking you. you. I'll see you guys when you make it to the Fae. <laughs> because my, my uh, backup road. character will be there. Low What's your HP? The right the road, road. I'm currently at 34 HP. Okay, not anymore. Uh, you have 13, <laughs> take 13 damage as you feel the piercing begin to, like, Stretch over your bones. This is not supposed to kill our friend. It was supposed to make her stronger. I'm bloody. Mm -hmm. And you cannot take actions. You cannot take reactions. You cannot take bonus actions. You have no... How much As you are can convulsing. Can I and I can't talk. Or I can't talk because your airways is blocked. How much weight can it if anyone was telepathic, they could talk to you. It's a 15 times your strength. I know. <laughs> oh so I just have to find their strength score. Elazar, having never been moved, which it's safe. You are with him. 
So 15 times that. You need to make me an at. I am assuming that you would fight this. So you need you to make me an athletics check. Now you can also make it out. Take away four. It's not an attack. Technically. I want to evade it because I will close zero six ten. Go back to my thing. So he grabs you and now has you in his oh, arms. I hate that. Oh, no silvery barbs, anyone? I don't have that, but yeah. I had a. I do, but I'm out of. I moved out of sight range. That's true. As a bonus action. You have no bonus action back then. It's not your turn. So. What happens is he grabs you into his arm and he like lays his hand like right here. And I said, take it out. And you feel this. <laughs> What's in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> it's like when like a cat's chewing on something and you're like, you do that <laughs> deep finger sweep through the, through the jaw <laughs> as they vomit on you while you pull out that toy from the toddler mouth. <laughs> What the <laughs> Okay, I had a plan. But I can't do it. Well, it would have been good though. None of those things. This is the only thing he has right now. So I can't so I can't do that. Is it better? I don't think it does. I'm just checking up something. Okay. So, instead, what he does is you immediately receive uh, 20 hit points. He heals right? As he starts pumping healing into you. She's confused with that. But he pump. wants that seed. I guess he... And he immediately kneels to the floor and lays you down. And that's his turn. Six. She is very confused. That's you. Son of a gun. Now the question is, would Lux even realize or would he be too angry in the moment? Lux is having some serious anger issues. <laughs> I know that he wants this seed. I know she swallowed the seed. I know that she is dying from the seed. I know he's going to do his best to make this seed pop out. So I'm going to hold my action so that when he does anything to shove out the seed, I'm going to dive for the seed and take it. Okay. So from that, we go to uh, mom and dad. Mom decides to act. Good job, Mom. As your mom quickly looks behind her and seeing the one hallway that goes all the way to the back, knowing that you have the seed in you, knowing that she can see through the Arcadia door, she grabs. We broke the Arcadia door. She runs up to you and grabs you. And then looks behind her. And you both disappear. Aww. Nothing like a mama. Who disappears? She does My with her mom. mom. And which one's her mom? That one. And they are both out in the garden. She's should I start? Thing. Should I send Tom the STL file for you? <laughs> we'll see. I'll send it to you anyways. <laughs> Just so that way you can have a really cool dryad. <laughs> there you go. So that's your mom's turn. Your dad. Which one's your dad? 
he's going to also back up, but he's going to do something different. Your dad immediately backs up to the Arcadia door and goes, <laughs> and a wall of fire goes behind him. Oh, we didn't even need to light the house on fire. He did it himself. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. I love it when you take take charge. And he He's a take charge he man. Into, like the fighting stance. A <laughs> actual <laughs> legitimate like boxing fighting stance. Just like the so 1920s. Like <laughs> he's gonna get all, all, he's gonna get all crazy. He's like like Donald Duck. Just <laughs> like he's just immediately like. Oh, he's an actor. Is my dad a monk? Yeah. Never. He never. He never sat at the table with him. Your parents weren't fighters. They, they were too busy fighting with him to ask him any questions about himself. Typical girl. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Holy she God. was a child. Wow. So was I. <laughs> so, that's their turn. Top of round. <laughs> Crap. Mala Ross, you're up. Alright. Um, yeah. I'm going to... get off of the dog... <laughs> Is that a term for like alcohol? They get off the dog. Like the hair of the dog. <laughs> oh, the hair of the dog. <laughs> what is he wearing? What like armor is he wearing? Uh, it's actually kind of. Wooden. As you're actually looking at it, he's not wearing armor. He's wearing clothing and has these wooden plates. Oh, sorry. Okay, so it's wood. <laughs> but I am flanking. Guys. Yes, that is true. Wood is flammable. He opens yeah. his mouth, and there's two cat teeth in between them. Lightning strikes like a taser. Wow, I love that. <laughs> taser, oh, man. I love it. We should have used this cat more often. I love it when that happens. I, I do miss with an 18. Oh, butternut. So, butternut squash. Butternut squash. Where does Buford go? Buford can't... Uh, Buford! Buford can't get through the door, so he's just going to go... There is a window he can jump through. Where, where's the window? <laughs> it's like it's right going up there, like right next to where Solus is. She's where that kind of grassy part is. The other side. There. Well, so where we were? Yeah. Jeez. I guess I guess I could have seen you. <laughs> I thought you were behind them. <laughs> I could have seen you. Too bad. Shh. Too bad your mom saved you. <laughs> your party could have, but. And he's gonna attack. He's not flanking. All right. And he gets a natural twelve. I don't know his modifiers. Uh, is it, because he's a strength fighter, he gets plus four. So twelve. So he gets a six, sixteen. So he does miss. Uh, does he have multi attack or uh, is he a one? Uh, no, but his attacks have special abilities. Okay. I'll I'll uh, give you his character sheet. Oh. So you can put it into your extras. Sounds good. He. Both of us missed. Okay. So with that, we go to two. No, that's me. <laughs> We're on round four. So she sees her taken and then put down, and then she's out of the way. Now she's been taken by her mom. So I don't see that she's... I don't know that she's better. I don't know that she's worse. I know that she was hit with the thorn whip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you saw... And um, I know this guy works for everybody. And you saw was. Elazar heal her. Did I, though? Eh, no. Not really, because all of her injuries are internal. Yeah, so I wouldn't have so known that. Know. And then he puts her down. So he would... <laughs> so that just, And to me, that, I, that could be like... <laughs> I mean, that could just be him like trying to pull out the seed, you it's know? True. And he does work for everything evil. It's true. So I would probably just attack him. Use the card. Use the card. Start smacking. He, um, and... So I have an imp behind him and an imp that's still out there. And then mine. Okay, so I'm going to go through Wedgie again. And I got. Wedge is no longer in the room. Oh, because she was in his pocket. She was in the Okay, well then. Sorry. I... Wedge could give you a play by play. I'm going to put my corny and roll that again. No. I don't think she's happy she swallowed the pill. <laughs> Remember you add the D4. Oh, yeah. She looks very uncomfortable. She's 19. Really hard 19. 19. Did you hit him? I don't yeah. think she's going to pass the pill. 
Oh, can I use my... Oh, no, that's damage. So, then, um... And these birds. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. These birds need to go. Okay, I gotta get to my imp. Hold on. What can he do? You can't turn it down. I did. I just found that. Hey, birds are gone. Sting, bite, go invisible. That's a bonus action. Thank you, Slight Speed. Push, 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 Okay. Your favorite so no, I missed. Okay. So I'm feeling great about myself. I might be burning out this house. Remember that one episode I felt really cool? <laughs> hey, you've been awesome so you've far. You've been awesome you're gonna, so far. You're gonna, you're gonna start feeling a lot more cool. No, no man, you swallow cool the pill soon. like you a You swallowed box. it, and it starts... You're going to feel pretty cool soon. You're going to feel pretty survive. good. So did you survive? I'm sure your mom's going to make well, you survive. you got some pretty good people around you right now. So. Think about it this way. Your dad may finally approve. So, uh, with that, we go to three. You really That's think me? she cares? you going to care in a bit. Okay, so... No, I, if her dad approves. No, you're going to care in a bit. I attempt to whip again. Okay. I whip on in the butt. 21. 21 Ooh. that hits. Okay. And you get sneak attack. Is it whipping with a vengeance? Ooh. Damn. Freaking rogues, man. Ah, Lee. He's under there somewhere. 23 damage. Dead center. You guys are all like, I want to put this out. As you guys are all playing into him, you guys are making like serious hits. You guys are like, you guys are like whipping through him, and he just looks like he's still like, he's got so much fight in him. Like, he's got a lot left, and he's just like, oh, no, we're so good. I need a super high. Oh, that was. I got the power of the gods yeah. and the hands of Blaze. I and mean, then I can't do half the damage this guy does with just a whip. Yep. Cool. That's rogues. Wait. All right, time to switch things. All up. right. That's four. Honey, Constitution saving throw. Ah, uh, you still get a plus four. Yes, you do. Back up to a lot, though, right? It was back up to 41. If if Elazar had healed me, I would be down right now. Uh, I'm bloody to go. Mm -hmm. But you're with your mom. As you begin to feel this like piercing go through you, all of a sudden something is changing. You feel like your face, something is like happening. And your, your eye is getting like some kind of like, something is moving past you. But nobody else can see it because nobody else in your party is there. And there's a wall of fire. Taking care of the giant eagle tree. And anything that walks within but 15 feet of there. a wall yes. kind of <laughs> takes during the day. And we're in the backyard, so you can see the also there. I get one next level. Well, no, I don't. I get one two levels. I am terrible with my dryad. Well, you're currently eating. Ozar's turn. Man. Yeah. 
bonus action, Elazar is going to touch himself. Really? Come on. Don't. There are ladies present. Don't. Don't. A mother mother was just in the room. Stop. You see all of his wounds I can start singing. begin to close. If I was a bard, I'd have an awfully good song. Like, someone have like... And he just looks forward. And What's my bonus Just... Dashes. Oh, jeez. Oh, he goes... Right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40... That's not got more, but I'm going to let everyone take their opportunity attacks on. That's not very nice. Natural 20. Uh-huh. So that means Lux, Solus, Buford, Malharas, Kitsu, uh, one of your imps, all get opportunity attacks on. So I would have switched out my sword I'll get better. or my, yes. my hands to my blade since I didn't get to use my round at all last. Are you going to allow that to fly? Yes, or? I'll allow it. Okay, excellent. You get an opportunity. I don't have opportunity. I don't have a uh, war caster, so I don't have uh, magic. It's and so I'm pause. instead going to save my reaction for just in case I need to use silver button. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, do you want to do the attack of Buford? Oh, right, yeah. He, he has stuff, probably. Natural Plus. 20. Okay, uh, I'm gonna roll <laughs> a nine. save over here for him. Uh, he needs to be a 15. He got a 10, so he has a plus 9. So, he make it. Two, three, so that four, means four, five, that um, Buford's uh, holding oh. bite does not take effect. It's essentially like a grapple. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's a d6 for his attack? Yes. 37 points of damage. 37. You said he has uh, how much addition to his strength? Uh, plus four. Okay. Eleven piercing. Okay. Hitsu, did you want to take your opportunity to attack? Yeah, so I rolled a 17. Hold on, I gotta add that. Okay. I tabbed out of it, sorry. Just like paper. <laughs> um. So I get a 19. That's not true. And, and my imp wouldn't have hit. Alright. And now we're going to do a contested strength check between him and Marty and Mark. Mathorn. Mathorn. Mathorn does not succeed. And he grabs Mathorn and drags him through the fire. Drag through it. Why would he keep it up? So All the rest of us are good. Here. All the rest of us are good. Well, so it's we... not his turn yet. He can't end concentration. All of us are on their side, so. Who is six? Your six. Twenty-six. Twenty-six to hit. As I dash I you through, the the flames. through the flames, okay, so you take. So you need make me a dexterity saving throw. Even if I roll 20, I'll miss. 13. 13? Mm-hmm. That does Even not Even if I roll a 20, I would still miss. How? 
because well, you got he said lines. 20, you need a 26. He hits every time with a 26. Fire every single time. Okay. It's 5 You get a 22 and miss. 5 v 6. What are you talking about? Well, the fire is 5 v 6. No, 21. So I'm through the fire. Yeah, I you thought he said it was a 22 and a miss. His PC is 20. 20, yeah. 8. 8. 8. 8. Is that when you're made of wood? 6. Eight, nine, you're made of armor. Crazy. It's fifteen. Really... Fifteen points of damage. So fifteen points of damage. Fifteen points of damage to him, and that's all I got. Okay. As I. Okay. I'm done. Just small right, so That's turn. Mathor and Delphine. Delphine begins dragging Amadryer away. <laughs> While Mathor grabs onto Elazar's face and comes in full of the sweet, sweet, juicy magic. Is this an, uh, an attack roll? Uh, is Mathor is her dad yeah. attacking Elzer. Oh, yeah, never mind. Because he pumps him full of this necrotic energy. Mm -hmm. And he's just... <laughs> and Elzar's just... <laughs> and it's like it almost barely had any effect. Great. Uh, that's wonderful. So that's top of round. Maharaj. Oh yeah, and the wall of fire does go down. Okay, awesome. Does it? And you said that he looks pretty normal. Uh, Elzar. Yes. It looks like he's got a lot of fight left. It looks like this fight's gonna go on for a little bit. Yes. And then we're just not necessarily doing too much. Doesn't look like we're doing very much. It looks like he's focused on something else. But he's like, I can take this, I can take this, I can keep going. Oh, he has, um... Alright. What's it called? Well, optimism. No. Let's change the color. What are you looking for? What's the thing that you're looking for? You know when, like, people, when they're boxing, and then like adrenaline. Adrenaline, exactly. Kind of. And there's a barbarian in the room that would be kind of more on it. So. I'm in. Okay. So that's me. Mm -hmm. Whatever you move. You freaking run. How many feet did you destroy? 40. Well, that's not 40, that's like, that was 55. For so no, I ran outside. outside. I ran 40. So he's like outside. Yeah, I'm, you were like, I'm moving forward. Cause I'm 40. Yeah, but you were back here. Yeah. I have a clear shot, but I wouldn't do that. Who are you? Just brought him back from being stuck between two realms. And now I'm gonna basically send him back there.
Are you waiting for something? Waiting for you? Oh, I for thought. <laughs> I thought you were thinking. I, I said it keeps you, it's your turn. Okay, so yeah, 17, 18, like, 19, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. So I got a 22 to hit. Can you hit me? Thank you. Finally. <laughs> and a 5 for damage. Oh, I can hit another one too. Twenty-one. To hit? Yeah. That hits. Two. Okay. So seven. Only good. Yeah, that was great. Do I get any black pluses because of because I'm kind of a little crazy? Actually. Want to get another Constitution save? Kinda. Damn. I made that one. I made that to a lot of crazy. Okay. Can I intentionally fail it just to see what happens? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to see what happens. Roll a d8. It was, it's not a d6? Roll a d8. What are you failing? Three. Three? I have no idea what's going to happen. I just want to see what's ha going to happen. Okay. Hopefully it's not like a fireball centered on myself. Yeah. Keeps his eyes flaring. The good setting off dim light at ten feet, bright light at five. As she sits there and she conjures magic through her hands, all of a sudden, he just goes, <laughs> and the house, oh. is, and you oh, see these goodness. tongues of flame start whipping off of her back. That That's not begin bad. to then you see nine tongues of flame begin to look like tails. That doesn't suck, except for you know I'm inside. Except that house is now ruined. <laughs> the upholstery <laughs> is gone. The house is burning. Thanks, but I could run outside. Childhood like, home them. destroyed. <laughs> oh. 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 What did you say? In oh. a forest. It's a magical forest. That's right. So yeah, when it's, it's a... so when it burns, everybody's gonna get high. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's no goofy lettuce here. <laughs> magical trees don't burn like normal trees. Yeah, they burn extra over. They, they, it, they, it, they burn have, with color. Except only if we had known that there was no water in the area. Oh, damn. I mean, darn. <laughs> uh, I've been saying damn all night. Oh, all right, we've been saying way worse. Yes. Three. I, I don't Very that. specific You're people. Up. You're oh, up. Okay. But if you already knew what we were saying, then it really wouldn't matter because you already knew. <laughs> Only somebody told you that there was no water. Yeah, in here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna. It's okay. Somebody can cast fire at water. And just douse it. I'm sure there's people around here who have ability to. I don't know. Control the weather? I don't. I'm sure people can figure it. Contra, okay. Contra. <laughs> I'm sure they got this as we leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels good to be a guy. Uh, <laughs> hey, we need to. It feels good to be the good guys. It feels really good to complete none of the objectives we were here to complete. <laughs> hey, we need to well, cause some found, trouble to get taken to that citadel. Oh, are you sure for that? Dash. Oh, so how much is this trouble? Is double. Double your oh, speed. Wow. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Sorry, Ben. We've already tried to take her there. Better or closer. Um, you have time to ride? What's your, what's your length on, that? on your whip? 10 feet. So, yeah, so nope. definitely right, on, the, on, the, on the right I path. I could use my phone. Oh, I was going to try to Four. Yeah, we already used your action. Okay. Constitution save, bro. Please make it. Oh, yes. Oh, and you need to make me a concentration. Me? Does she get... Because running, running through the fire. Oh, it was for down. The, for the Tim? No, when he ran through it. What? It was. What? What happened? Yeah, I passed. I got like 15 yeah. on the die. I saw a bluff. Yes. yes. What did you get? Give me a Four. freaking second. I can't read it. It's a gem tone. I can't read it. Yeah, ten. Like I always write. It's okay. You didn't kill anybody. I failed so much I killed them. Firm. <laughs> What's the concentration check? Uh, it's half of the damage dealt, or ten, I which one's I, whichever one's higher. Twenty. That's awesome. You have better. I'm dead. Six. No, you're not. You will take 15 points of damage. Mortal. You're being carried away by your mom. Yeah. She's not gonna let you die. Oh, hold on. 
Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Got it. Healing word. Messy. If I would have <laughs> ran out the door and then lost control, I'd have been outside. <laughs> Could have ran. So now it's Ella's first turn. Bad butthead. Oh. Was it really that bad? I haven't taken any hit points of damage yet. Don't it's say that. that! Oh, I'm sorry. Try not to use it. I'm pretty sure you'll like one shot. Where's that lovely little like radius thing? Goody chat It's underneath though. Yeah, I was trying not to use that. Ten more than that. Oh my god. So you get everyone. He's not allowed to cast fireball. He's a wood guy. He's not. Fireball. It's a fireball. Ten. Oh yeah. He wouldn't get me. No. Because he adds ten feet to Because the point the point where your finger was was not close to me on the radius. Ten more feet than that. And that puts it here. Yeah. Uh, so That's five it. and ten. So Just yeah, we'll outside get, of it. We'll That's right. So you'd be like the only one alive. Yeah, that is right. That's all we need. I can't really because heal here's anybody. the question here's the thing. Oh, I, I don't feel like I want to do ten D six to everyone right now. I don't what think the? Would, I don't think we'd live through ten. Hey man, if you anyway. didn't want to do that, you should have brought him here. <laughs> Stop it! You guys just say it, man. You guys weren't supposed to fight him like this. Uh, well, was, he could hey, stop. He's he the one who ability. came knocking. I can take He's ability. He has the ability to stop us. But he, he was being a little polite. He, he, he oh, he also was. got us. He did walk up and be like. And actually talk to you guys. Right, he he pounded on, on the door. I pounded on the door. He did he not. And then he got a. Yes, you did. He, he said he, he said not. He and then got accosted. Oh, that's what you're to me. You guys all said fight him. I was that's what we were no, doing. I didn't. Yeah. We were defending he, our girl. Is it an attack? Uh, he pounded on the door and then yelled at him. I'm trying to see if there's anything else he can do. He was. He vine whipped our girl. Thorn whipped our girl. He's also a he terrorist. Also <laughs> he's, also, he's also a terrorist. You know what? I take away my bless. <laughs> <laughs> Go right ahead. Has it helped anyway? Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh. No, I've been rolling too low. It's so I hasn't done shit. Sorry. <laughs> uh, wow. She said I'm dirty blood. She said I'm dirty blood. <laughs> I don't give. Oh, no, you can't say it. You can't say it. I did. I did it. I went. S she words said are, the dirty uh, S <laughs> No, that's an M and F. The dirty is that it would be dirty in the sense of product, but. <laughs> Why are you guys so allergic to talking? Uh, that's a genuine question. Okay, he's a terrorist. The last time we saw him was in that gala. Where he was vitally important in destroying oh, us, and then sucks. then we see him here aggressively <laughs> walking through the town, what did I roll? pounding on the door, wondering. and then thorn whipping you. Mm -hmm. We were worried about you. You're our <laughs> girl. We gotta fight for you, to the nail. Oh, I think that was way earlier. He does. Oh, it needs touch so you can get him touching. No touching. Hello's on. Touchy me, no touchy. <laughs> I think he'd be stop. able to get. I think that would be 35 feet. Oh, he has one that, that sucks no. even more. We're not gonna what? willingly let him no. get. Oh, I know, isn't that fun? He is going yeah. to. Got a zero. Just, <laughs> he's gonna try. He's gonna try and break. He was gonna steal the, her he's, seed. He's breaking the grapple. He's breaking his grapple from. Mathor? From Mathor? Wait a minute, he was restrained? No, he restrained Mathor and pushed him through his own ball of fire. Oh my goodness! 40 20. And then, like, he gets out and he chucks him. And he's going to. Now, the problem is, he has to get around the He does. Because so, only one thing right we need to here, do. 
I'm assuming that you're here and not right here. I'm outside. So yeah. So yeah, you're right there. So that means that if math is, if math math was right there, if math is nothing, so he has five, ten, fifteen, twenty, <coughs> twenty-five, thirty. He could do it. But he needs to get over. There. So uh, we're not gonna willingly you, let him get over. Buford, get opportunity attacks because he just books. He me last and that's time. twenty. We don't okay. know that. Uh, he's total damage is 26. We're just, just like whip being, you're just getting down. whipped. Who's ever needed to roll And I inflicted that on Huh? What did you say to me? Who's ever needed to roll 40 d20? When? For when I was doing ma- a mass battle, and I had 40 groups of 10 people. Oh. It's like war situations. Oh. Okay, Crap, I'm gonna re roll my stuff. No, oh, yes, math then. Math over gets in. Fails. And yeah. you get to roll for Buford. I got a dirty 20. Dirty 20. What are we doing? 5 damage. Yeah. Oh, damage. Gotcha. I might stop him walking. He needs to make the, uh, the doggo saving throw. Doggo saving throw. Fails. <gasps> no! Oh, not the boy! No, he, the, the bad guy. The bad guy, the bad guy fails. fails so means against dogs. He's not moving. Uh-huh. That means fire girls are going to start running at this man, <laughs> whacking him with their tails. That means he couldn't do. He was going to do it. That means he's now he's stuck here. <laughs> well, you better start talking. Talking's like, a free action, I think dude. we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> you better start moving those lips. Instead, he's going to uh, explode the party like <laughs> what he said he was going to. He would kill her too. No, actually, she's out of range. Destroy the shed, just. Though. He could just not use, the shed. He could use My his words. In there. Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> not the shed. Oh, he was like, close on Sunday. Like, what <laughs> like, why are we so <laughs> important what, yeah. about the shed? <laughs> Whatever will we do? I was like, the whole it's town's on fire. <laughs> no, it's not. Just this house. <laughs> All he can do is literally. Why didn't he open his mouth and say he wants to save her? Because you guys won't listen to him. You don't know that we won't listen. And he okay. I want you guys to think about everything that's happened since you showed Why up. Why would we and show it? him and just suppose? You what know, would make him believe was, that you would? If trust I was, him? if I was gonna try to do something, I would still use my words. He wouldn't have demanded to get the stuff back. He yeah, he probably could have asked nice. He probably could have said something kind. You're like, oh. did he say please? It's like, hey, babe. Oh. No, like, <laughs> oh, dang like, it. Now we gotta get it to him. He, he, he could have said, like, he could have said, babe, I need to talk to you about the seat. <laughs> babe. I'm no. not his no. babe. babe. It's like, hug a boo. He could have said, he could have, instead of saying, I'm going to, about this seat, I'm going to go ahead and so rip it from your body. Man, it's just wrong. <laughs> he could have talked, but he didn't. He did, oh, he, he did talk. He did talk. He didn't was, accept it. He was mean. Yeah. So all it he was has... mean, aggressive talk. It was he tongue whipping, not himself. speaking. He could have said, "Hey, right. I'm Andrea." Is he done? I need a scene. No. He's got, he's got and and she would have said, "You have enough." He Aww. tried to run, and it was denied. So that means he still has his action to do something over here. I would do C. I would start singing. I know what he's gonna do because I didn't want to do that to a a person. Did you just say you? I didn't want to do that to a person. But a dog's okay. Exactly. That's what he said. It's not proficient in unarmed attacks, but that doesn't mean he can't add C. Unarmed attacks, like his arms are gonna fall right off. Which means. Swat the dog away. Don't kill the dog. I never wanted to do that. It's silvery so barbs. <laughs> silvery barbs? Yeah. Okay. Still hits. Well, 
because the one I rolled before was lower. So, it's <sighs> he does 32 damage as he so smacks good. away Buford. Oh, oh, 32 damage. Probably in the wall. That is like more than <laughs> all of my own. <laughs> <coughs> Almost. <coughs> And uh, Lux gets advantage on his next uh, uh, d20. Yeah. Excellent. Buford is down in a single hit. Lay him up. Yeah, that would have been like, me too. Surprising. Like, All right, every time we, so, um, we get in melee range, these people kill us. So. Mm. Um, every single almost time. Almost as if they're supposed to be hard. <laughs> every single time. And you guys time. are all long range fighters. <laughs> Not me. I you. wasn't. <laughs> I don't know, but so I wasn't. <laughs> All right, 21 to hit, total damage, 25 okay. damage. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, with my action, that was my bonus, with my action, I'm actually going to uh, wrestle him down strength to the ground, and I rolled a natural 20 plus 3. Okay. Wow. You beat him. So, you, so you're not wrestling him to the ground. I'm restraining him you and holding him. You are restraining him. It's a, you're, you currently have him grappled. Yes. But... You're not, you, it's not like you're just like, oh, take him down. <laughs> you're not tackling him right now. Okay, that's me. Yeah. So he is restrained, which means everybody else is getting okay. um, so is it my turn? advantage on him. No, no it's not. No, it's math or and delphines. Okay. And then it's small hurrah. I just asked. It's which okay. Which means he gets advantage and can uh, do something. Hi, people. Oh, this is what math is going to do. And he fails. <laughs> Thanks, Mathor. Mathor succeeds. Elazar fails. Oh. <laughs> and you actually see Elazar. Like, wow. Way to go, Dad. He's sitting there looking at Elazar, and he's like, "Let me through!" And all of a sudden, Mathor literally just puts puts his hand up to him, and he says a word, and he just goes, and he's vanishes. Who? Uh, Elazar. <laughs> I'm grappling I, him. You vanish too. I vanish as well. <laughs> no, he can't vanish. Oh, is he banished to the shadow world now? No. Don't I go with him? No. All it's right. Him. All right. We're out of I combat. I kind of wanted to know what what the issue was. Shit. Now you won't. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. We, we saved likely, your life. We figure out. What's going on? We saved your life. We learned nothing. As Delphine, but we feel always. pretty, but we feel As pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Get him out of dead word on you. <laughs> what, what, what did he do? Okay, we got one more death. round. But since combat is over, is it over, over, or over well, until he loses concentration? Over? Are you guys <laughs> going to attack Mathor? <laughs> no. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear no that wasn't a no. Are you suddenly gonna run up and clock Mathor? <laughs> Bring him no. back! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't done! I wasn't done! You guys have done a lot of damage to him and he wasn't even phased. Well, yeah. it isn't over until I say it. <laughs> I didn't hear no bell! <laughs> so, okay. I'm really so, kind of you guys have one more round to empower Amadraya to get through this. I uh, bless is the best I got. I'm gonna give you some healing. Um, yeah, so I'll give you healing as well. So that's a D8 plus two. Do you wanna roll it? Or do you want me to roll it? You roll it. I, I suck. <laughs> sure, you don't wanna roll it. <laughs> Four plus two, six. Excellent. That is that's a lot better. better. Yeah. Oh, are you shooting? <laughs> Does anyone else want to do anything to help her? Uh, I'm I don't not know sure how to help her. So I don't I know how to help her. And I got, uh, I'd like yeah, to good. use guidance, okay. and then I'd like to do a medicine check to try and stabilize the dog. Oh. Oh, Buford. You can roll your medicine check. I, I can give her a, healing you, potions. A, that was a one. I have two healing potions. If you die, I got the other potion of. I uh, got a natural twenty for. Oh, so she's got. So she's got. Buford wine. Oh, not again. Well, you start just pouring wine in her. 
Okay, I don't want to. I actually like, got. I don't want to be like that. I'm not four gonna... revivifies on me, so yeah. I so, have three. What, what other wines do you guys have? Uh, the no, blood no, dragon no. wine and the blue wine. I got two of the blue ones. Oh, we don't have those two. <laughs> you That's... know what the blue wine does. You know what the dragon does. What does the dragon do? It turns me into a maniac. But does it? Which so is does it make you crazy? Slightly different than what I am now. No, it increases your hit points. <laughs> it makes your <laughs> AC. Oh, oh no, did you hear what it said? It what? increases our hit points. The blue Pour one? It, no, the, no, green, no, the one. green one. Pour it down the green her throat. one gives you temp HP. I don't and have a green one. one. She has like. Uh, it was a gold one. Doesn't you she have, have gold, death ward on her? We points. did take a green. Uh, her mom just cast death ward. Yeah, she hit points don't really like matter right now. No, but we can just. Well, they do matter. Okay, so I would pour the gold potion down her throat. I don't have the gold potion. She, she has it. So one of us has to run over there. You're the sommelier, so he you go. Used, he used his turn to heal. Heal and okay. to give her... So it means uh, if somebody else wants to do that, so they I guess, would have to. If someone I guess else I would remembers do that I have it. I, ha- I just remembered so it myself. He so he you pour a, de- a dose of the gold wine, which acts it, as a greater healing potion. Awesome. Is that even is that beneficial? I mean, like from a numbers standpoint, right? So if she goes down, and I'll go ahead and is give it better her to do it then, potion. or is it better to do it now? You don't know. I'll but go ahead and give her my uh, healing potion too, because we have another gold. We have another yeah, serving. I'm of saying gold. this because we're running low on all these potions, and we're getting our butts can handed someone, to us every five minutes. So can someone tell me what a greater healing does? I'm just looking at it. He's looking it up. Uh, greater, I thought it was 44. 44 plus 4. 44 plus 4. Anyone want to give me 2d4? Here's one and here's two. You give me to roll? I can do it. All right, there you go. Also, when we're getting with this and we're just about to do your con save, I'll tell you what you guys all see. Excellent. We're all surrounding oh, yeah, our friends. Wow! Friend. Wow! I roll a ton of fours now! <laughs> hey, this is beneficial. <laughs> a ton of fours is still because better than... Because we're about to do 68. Oh. Well, I gave her another healing. Green, if she another has 68 and she goes above her hit point max, she dies outright. Which is 2d4. Yeah. Um, oh, it's so. negative her, her hit point max. Yeah, so like that's not too far off from where where we're at here. So. But she also has death ward. She has death ward, oh, so okay. death ward stops that. Stops that from happening. Uh, haha, there's several. So if you have too much life, you just And then die. another four. No, if you. So I'm get above. Negative your entire life. Oh. Yeah. I'm above. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was like if you have I mean, override you the max HP, then you two. just die. Okay, what? I need to roll my con save. Now you roll your con save with advantage. Because you have all these people helping you. Thank you, because that was a natural one. Yeah, you don't want to so double this damage. <laughs> plus uh, a d4? Plus a d4. Still doesn't make it 13. Plus the d4 from guidance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw another. Barely 15. So, you are conscious. You... Although the pain is still in you, you can move. You can act. You can. You're as you're as you feel it, like come as whatever this is is completing. I am I aware that Elazar healed me. We'll deal with that later. Right, we'll figure that out later. Mm-hmm. If my but, lung un- unpunctured, I would know. It's <laughs> <laughs> just really related. Looking at Andre and coming around her and figuring out and figuring out what's happening and doing all these things, you guys are seeing these like vines and branches, like pushing out of her skin. See her skin becoming more of that kind of pale bark. You see her She's eye. A gla- you see well, her eye glazing over with amber. Is this all good things or are these bad things? And she's producing leaves like a eucalyptus tree. Aww. Well, we've been all we can do. Uh, I asked the question. <laughs> to, I asked the question to uh, the now mom and the dad. The oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, is this a good I thing or a bad the thing? Joke, but now goes, just this dig is, a hole. This is, for this is all right. This is what's supposed to be happening. This is good. Yes, yeah, this is what's supposed to be happening. Oh, okay, so it is good. Okay. Uh, you actually at this time comes over, and he like is like, oh my gosh, what's happening? 
I need... At this sixth one, you take Did they talk to you about this? Did she talk conscience? You heal them, so it didn't matter. They weren't thinking he, they didn't have to do it. And then, he wasn't conscious until today. And then, <laughs> For five years? When did they get this? You mm, don't know. Like a week ago. <laughs> Wasn't that the truth? Like yeah, they just like got it in the ago? mail. <laughs> no. They got it a few weeks ago before yeah. Torben died. So it's only been like a couple of weeks. And he's been down for like two? Or did he come? I don't remember. I'm he's been down for like two weeks? Two and a half? And they got like three, Nobody's going to care if we d- dump those three bodies weeks down. Ago, so it's so. okay. <laughs> so, um, as you kind of are able to move and you're feeling like whatever this is, like you're feeling the pain sort of subside, you feel this urge as you're looking at the trees <laughs> to go over and begin to eat a tree? And which one do you want to eat? Which tree? Oh. There's three trees. Your dad's ash tree, your mom's birch tree, and your eucalyptus tree. Wow, you're binding with you. I hate we... that I swallowed this. I don't want this. I would eat the eucalyptus tree. Yeah. So kill my dryad then. No, but he's binding with you, so it doesn't matter. His tree is oaken dead. No. So I don't think it's gonna hurt him at all. If you think it's gonna hurt somebody, just take your dad's tree. That's gonna be. Shut up. <laughs> Eat the shed. <laughs> you know, most houses are. You can roll it. Roll it before. I, with your, your um. Binding with you, though, so it makes sense that you would eat his tree. You sound like a cool dude. Who? You! Three times I have to say I, It's hard for me to hear over the dog. <laughs> so, in this moment, you walk towards Yuke's tree. And your hands grab the bark and pull it away. You see her rip this tree in half. Yikes. Oh, that, that's... Do this. And begin to eat the marrow of the tree. Oh, that's insane. The tree, you guys all are looking at this as you see the tree bloom grow exponentially and then begin to wither Mm. and then begin to to essentially crumble as you see the leaves and bark solidify and be growing more lively you see her you see her it begin to intermingle with her hair we see it intermingle with the tattoos on our arms, which still glow over the bark and vines. And you see all the twisting vines, which kind of like undulate and look like cords of muscle, solidify over with bark to form like this kind of skin. The smooth wooden... She's got bark this, skin. The smooth wooden face. Almost like you're looking at a perfect marionette. That's not disturbing at all. And as the tree becomes nothing, as it fades, there's a beat. You guys are all like taking this in. You just went through this huge battle, huge fight. Hamadra stands up. Cast revivi- or not cast. I pour the the revivify wine onto the the remaining of whatever is left of this tree. 
Uh, there is nothing left. There's a hole in the ground. Uh, no. And you're standing there, mm -hmm. looking at where the tree used to be. And you're kind of timid to look back because you're scared of what you will see. Of like, is you still there? And it's when an arm touches your still soft shoulder, your still skin shoulder, and you feel the hard wood on your on your on your shoulder. She's not getting rid of me now. She turns around and just hugs him and just starts crying. So they're bonded now at this point? Yes. Same as all those are on open. A perfect bond. So this is good. She's a perfect Cherokee for a tree. <laughs> a perfect actually, what? That's actually the, one of the of best ways to think about it. I don't know what that means. Oh, so it's an anime reference. So I'll explain it to you. Super cool. It is super cool. Your mother and father look. Your mother looks shocked. Your dad. It's. If anyone wants to roll an insight on her dad, it's kind of a stone thing. It's kind of a stone. Twenty. Twenty. You look at her father. He's proud. I knew he was gonna be proud. And the thing that gets everyone, the thing that breaks from this very tender moment, as Yuke is reassuring Andrea, saying everything's going to be okay, it doesn't matter, we're, we're out of one now, you're not getting rid of me, no matter what, the shed door opens. You see a small... She finally comes out. There's, I mean, literally her house has been burning down for <laughs> ten minutes. She, you see this... Little girl. She's about eight years old. Her skin looks nothing like any Asher and Elf you have seen. Her skin is dark green. Her hair is a vibrant red. Her eyes look like they're perfect amber. The sclera of Amber. Her eyes themselves are white. She's dressed in this nice little like frock dress. And she carries a stuffed rabbit. And behind her is a small, but very large. burning in the this literally thing. houses burning and trees gone like all of these things have happened probably should try to put that and house up. <laughs> I think that's a good place to end the session I think we should try to put the house mm -hmm. up <laughs> it was just their living room uh, their living room the dining room oh we have left a, we left a, a the hallway a, <laughs> curling iron uh, up Kitsu and Lux size hole in her wall too. Yeah, they just really need to rebuild. The window is gone. <laughs> just yep. really, I suggest moving into the shed for a little while and <laughs> moving into the shed and the just rebuilding. Yeah. I, you know, if Heart, you want, so if you wanted to expand the bedroom, you could just move into the shed for a while. And no big deal. It's right. evidently very quite luxurious. I mean, look at it. <laughs> All right. See everybody next time. See everyone next time. Bye.